Hello, I'm back again, as I promised I would be. Oh yes, oh yes, hello Favreloop. Hello Airflow, hello Burner, hello Jerky. Hello, my butt jeweler ain't. We hit the level 7 goal. We're 3 away from the level 5 goal, let's fucking go. And 8 Alliance join us, thank you very much. Hello Prinny Lord. Hello Dimless. Yas, yas, how you doing? Let's look at my, um, my steam shit. Bonk. Why am I early? You have two minutes of a YouTube video left. I'm just going to talk with you guys for a minute and then we'll play this Snoot game. Well, what the Snoot game is based on. There's a demo for uh, Goodbye Volcano High. We will have to see how that shit goes. Could be interesting. Could be boring as hell. We'll see. We'll see and we'll learn. What else am I playing today? We might play Tyranny. Uh, if if there are enough chatters who, who have it and want to play, I might try Age of Wonders 4 multiplayer. Uh, see if that's more interesting for people. Because I really enjoy playing it, but I feel like it, it it's a bit of a stream snooze game. Could be wrong. Could be not wrong. Tyranny is a CRPG. Yes, that is indeed a CRPG. Um, that is supposedly insanely detailed in how your choices affect the world. It's also all evil all the time. It's a shades of grey, but very much on the dark side. The darker shades of grey kind of game, as far as I'm aware. I was gifted it ages and ages ago and just never played it. I saw it in my Steam library and I was like, oh. Oh. Tyranny turns the archetypal RPG story on its head and allows players to explore a new take on good and evil. The player is not a random villager who rises to power, but an instrumental officer with considerable resources and authority. Use that power to enforce the new status quo or try to make change from the inside. Oh, I guess you can be good. I have knowledge you require. Ask, my child. Ask, and perhaps I should shall answer. Hmm. Nothing wrong with cupcakes? Um, there's a lot of stuff wrong with cupcakes. I don't know if I've ever had a good cupcake. Am I? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm just, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to try and stay paused, try and stay paused. But like, I, I'm, I, I struggle with, uh, I, I struggle with the, uh, the brain fog, you know, the mental, uh, the mental, the mental strain of knowledge that no human should ever have to carry with them. Is there nothing you won't bitch about? Uh, dude, fucking cupcakes are dog shit. Cakes are good. Cupcakes are not delicious cakes. Muffins are okay. But only like 10% of muffins are okay. The only time I enjoy a cupcake is normally when there's enough frosting to mitigate how bad a cupcake is. Oh, the good thing about cakes is like, ooh, big, big fluffy pieces. Mmm, you know what? Let's take a cake, but make it small and dry. Welcome to Cupcake Town. Fucking welcome to Cupcake Town. How do we fix it? We put a bunch of frosting on, which means you're just eating like a pile of gooey sugar. Why not just eat straight icing? Fucking stupid invention. Brownies, I don't know if I've ever had a... I've had bad brownies, but like 99% of brownies are great. The only time brownies are bad is like if you buy... If you buy one like individually wrapped and it's totally dry and it sucks all the moisture out of your mouth. That's the bad stuff. But 99% of the time a, a, a brownie is, is great. I love blondies as well. Blondies are fantastic. Vanilla slice. Is that what I think it is? Like the, the layers of pastry with like 
cream or custard and icing. I have never fucking seen frosting on a brownie. A blondie is like a... Okay, vanilla slices rule, yeah. A blondie is like a like a sort of caramel light brownie. Yeah. Essentially a non-chocolate brownie. And you put like caramac chips in it. Caramel chips. You could. Normally you want normally you want a blondie like extra gooey as well. Extra gooey. Gooey. Blondie was Hitler's dog. I'm not gonna hold I'm not gonna hold Hitler's dog accountable for the actions of his owner, okay? Alright. Mm -hmm. Small cake bikes in the back. I like um what do you call a uh uh yo French fancies. French fancies are so fucking good. Mr. Kipling's French fancies. Holy fuck, there's a French fancy ice cream. Is this real? Holy fuck. French fancies are godlike. Uh, what else is good? I was showing Lucky Bee uh, cheese balls. The Christmas food. It's a Christmas food. Cheese balls. But I'm not talking about... Okay? I'm not talking about, like, round Cheetos. There are cheese balls that are just round Cheetos. Or round... Round what's it's. The cheese balls I'm talking about. Let me see if I can get a good picture. I need to... I really need to show you one, like, split open. But I can show you them. I can show you them unsplit. This shit. That I will show you momentarily. These boys? This is a British Christmas food. They're called cheese fut... Cheese fut. <laughs> cheese fut. Cheese footballs, and they're made and sold by KP, normally known for their peanuts. Uh, it's a crispy wafer shell around, like, fake cheese. Fake cheese powdery paste. It's so fucking good. And they're only sold around Christmas. The packaging is rarely, rarely Christmas-themed. It's just like a bird that plays football, but it's only released around Christmas. They're so good. They're so fucking good. You put those in a big bowl and just leave them out and people can grab them whenever they want. Wow. Indeed. Mm -hmm. I didn't look at the coronation, though. I don't give a fuck. Death to all kings. Natural death, but fast, fast natural death to all kings, okay? I'm not, I'm not advocating violence. Um... Anyone felt like eating a chocolate eclair was worth it after? I think shoe pastry is a prank. It's it's like pastry chefs were fucking bored and they came up with shoe pastry. Shoe pastry is never good. And you might be like, what about profiteroles? It's the fucking cupcake thing again. Where they're not good because of what they are. They're good because of all the other shit you put around them that makes it tolerable. You fill them with cream. You cover them with caramel and or chocolate. The pastry itself. Shoe pastry? Garbage. Garbage. It's like wet skin. It's like when you've been in the bath for too long and your skin's wrinkly. That's what it tastes, that's what it tastes and feels like. It's horrible. Shoe pastry is horrible. You know what's good, though? Milfoy. Milfoy is good. M-I-L-L-E. F-E-U-I-L-L-E? Yeah, Milfoy. Milfoy is just like an advanced... It's an advanced... Uh, vanilla slice. Milfoy is just vanilla slice with more layers, essentially, and fruit in there normally as well. Milfs are fine. Profiterole. Wait, you don't know profiteroles? There's also like a big tower people make with profiteroles. How do you spell that? How do you spell which? There you go. 
Profiteroles are fucking awful. They're so bad. They're so shit. The chocolate's good. The cream, or that looks like they put ice cream in them, are good. The pastry itself, dog shit. Horrible. What is halva? I'll probably know when I see it. Never had it. Never had it, but looks good. Especially the one with, with um, pistachio in it. What's that insanely good shit where it's, it's layers of pastry and there's always like, like crushed up crushed up pistachio in it and there's tons of syrup what's it called baklava yeah baklava is is one of my favorite things in existence baklava so fucking good i love it 10 out of 10 confection baklava if you've never seen Baklava. I might. Everyone here has had baklava, right? These bad boys, so fucking good. Those are a bit big, though. I like the tiny bite-sized ones. The bite-sized ones. Canadian dish dishes good or just coke? Like what? I mean, poutine is just chips with stuff on it. Like, how could it be bad? Like, it's always good. It's always good. Pistachio nuts aren't nuts, are they? Hold up. Aren't they technically not a nut? Let me check. Uh oh, it's a member of the cashew family. There is no mention. Oh, no, it is a nut. It is a nut. Okay. Putin on chips. Uh, Canada does have a fucked up thing, though. Do you guys know Pizza Getty? It is apparently common in Canadian restaurants to have Pizza Getty on the menu. And... Um, what it is, is a pizza served with spaghetti. Sometimes they split the pizza down the middle and just have like a spaghetti trough down the middle. Sometimes they put the spaghetti on the pizza. Uh, I'm not okay with that, to be honest. Sometimes it's like a pie. Sometimes they make it like a pie crust filled with spaghetti, which seems... Really horrible. In my opinion. Like a calzone? No. No, 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 no. Hold up. Let me see if I can find an example. I've shown this on stream before. It's fucked. Where is it? I can find this. This looks about right. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm sure it's edible. Okay. I'm sure it's edible, but like. Look, fucking look at that. What are you doing? Fuck are you doing? Looks like a hairy slice. Spaghetti and meatball. The meatballs save it, Ausrad. The meatballs save it. I would eat that. That looks good. Ausrad, that looks good. That's different, though. That is different. It is different. 100%. Jesus Christ. Fuck me. Look at this. Look at this. 
Look at it. Fuck off. Meatball does solve a lot of problems. You want good shit? Get eight sausages. Cut them into chunks. You put them in a pan that's, that's blazing hot with about a tablespoon of olive oil. You cook the sausages until they're all browned on the outside. After that, you add in one whole onion that's been, been um, you know, chopped up into tiny little, little square pieces. Chop up an onion, put that in. Put about two cloves of garlic in. Let that cook until it's soft. Let that cook until it's soft. Then you add about 400 grams of canned chopped tomatoes and a teaspoon of chili powder. You can also add herbs if you want. Mix that together. Let that simmer for about 10 minutes. And while that's simmering, you cook some short pasta like penne or mafalda. When the pasta's done, you drain it. Put the pasta into the pan with the sausage and sauce. Mix it all up. Serve that. That's good shit. Mm -hmm. You went to Red Lobster last night. They do, like, lazy man's lobster, right? Where they just give you the meat. I don't trust that shit. There's some greasy teenager in the back stealing chunks of your lobster. He's definitely popping it in his mouth. It's really good and it's really simple, Airflow. It's what I made on Thursday. I cooked that up on Thursday. Super simple. Super simple, really nice dish. It's, it's comparable to having, like, a bake or even, like, it's like ghetto spaghetti and meatballs where the sausage chunks are the meatballs. You could put mushrooms in there. You can put pretty anything that would taste good in a tomatoey, slightly spicy sauce with herbs and meat will sound good. You can you can put anything you want in it, really. Mm -hmm. I'm not playing the 4chan version. Uh, this game will just forever be known as Snoot Game. What the fuck? This is from a recipe page. Some sick bitch is is putting this out as like here. You can make this too. No. No. Don't. The Last of Us Pie. This? Okay, you know what? This is better. This I can tolerate. Where the spaghetti is just a thin crust? That I can tolerate. The spaghetti becomes the pie casing. A pie casing filled with spaghetti, though? Just salt and peppered spaghetti? What the fuck is wrong with that person? This is just a, this is just a remix of, like, spaghetti bolognese or something. That's fine. <laughs> oh no bro fucking stop now let me let me let me rename this to tapeworm.png how's this for a spaghetti like fuck you i'm gonna kill you <sighs> i have to save it with a different name Fucking tapeworm pie. What do you think of this? What do you think of this? Jelly with meat is okay. If it's like a pork pie. <laughs> you are gonna, you are honestly gonna defend this? I'm gonna have to hand out bands, dude. Spinach pancakes? I've never had one, but it sounds good. That's like baklava. Are you fucking out of your mind? I'd rather eat a balaclava than say that's like baklava. Cheese, bacon, and spaghetti pie. <laughs> what the fuck is it? What is wrong with people? What the hell is this? Jordan Peterson was right. Postmodernism has gone too far. <laughs> Fuck you. 
Oh. No. This is reconstructed spaghetti. No one cares. Just start playing. I'm going to start playing in like two hours. Just because you made that comment. Also, we got a we got a new break screen. We got a we got a new hexapian screen. I've broken moose heart spaghetti sauce. What the fuck do you mean? Is that a brand or did you make it? Like out of moose hearts. You know, Hex is a Japanese man, right? And he invented Pokemon. It's true lore. I've seen him in real life. I had to put a filter on my stream when he appeared. Lucky Bee is... I don't remember what she said. I think she said she's never had pate. And that she's like worried. About, she doesn't like organ meat. There's a dish I love that's really simple. Chicken livers or chicken hearts. Cooked with chopped up tomato. And then put on like cr cr crispy bread like baguette sliced toasted. But I... I, I think I can't make that for her. I think I have to, like, slowly get her onto the organ meats with, like, pate. Chocolate pork? What do you mean by chocolate pork? Do you mean, like, a mole that has pork? Like, dark chocolate? Awful is, like, the best stuff. I like chitlins as well, but... There's very few food items I can't bring myself to eat. Stewed in its blood? That's probably good. Probably tastes very irony. There's very few food I can't... There's very few f items of food I can't bring myself to eat. One of them... So I can eat chitlins, no problem. I like chitlins. I like intestines and stuff. But... But... Chitlins are like in intestines. And those sort of bits. If the intestine is in like a thick wiggly tube. If the tripe is in a tube shape. And I, I put that tube in my mouth. I can't handle it. That's, that's, the, that's the line for me. It has to be. Like I'd eat that tube if it was flat. But if you leave it tube. The texture of the tube fucks me up. Yeah. No, no, no. This demo requires a controller. Okay. I like chewy food. I really like chicken feet. Uh, the Asian supermarket has, ch has chicken feet. Hmm. Maybe I should learn how to marinate them. Like what marinade you put them in and stuff. Chicken feet is a meme? No, it's good. People all over the world eat chicken feet. Why? Because they're good. And because there are poor people all over the world and it's cheap. But also it's good. I really want to try authentic souse. Duck beaks? You can't really eat a beak. I've eaten um, duck tongues. Yeah, lots, lots of bugs are good. Lots of bugs are not good, but there are lots of good bugs. Like grasshoppers. Grasshoppers are actually great. They're fantastic. Or go to a Mexican place and get chapelines. Chapelines, they call them. Super good. Uh, queen leaf cutter ants taste like smoky bacon. Good as hell. Water bugs, fucking disgusting. Boiled scorpion in a can was fucking disgusting. But a lot of that, I think, is because... I feel like it was probably wild caught and it was like so juicy and weird. Uh, 
by water bugs specifically. The well, okay. I've seen there are recipes for like stuffed water bugs and like apparently they can be good. The problem with water bugs is where they live. They live in like in like standing water and they eat their bottom feeders. They taste like the bottom of a fucking disgusting puddle. They're so gross. I don't know, is chitin bad for you? I thought you just I thought it just played the same function in your diet as fiber. In Goodbye Volcano High, your choices will influence the relationships you have with other characters. New content may unlock depending on your decisions. Hmm. Andy Grasshopper. Like just just like pan fried grasshoppers with like salt and maybe chili. Grasshoppers in a stir fry, really good. That's the thing with bugs. A lot of them are pretty good. Would any of them be good in bulk? Like as as a bulk part of your diet? I don't think so. Because when they're good, they're not. You're not eating like a a pile of them. You have them like in stuff. When you make a choice that might have changed your relationship with the character, you'll see this icon. Hmm. No pressure. You gonna throw chaos orbs? Nice. Nah. Five divines or no deal. Class of the end. Oh, is the meme? You know what? Never mind. I was gonna say this art's really nice, and then they showed the characters. <laughs> I vote yes. Jesus I Christ! I think this is a voting type situation. I mean, it does kind of belong to all of us, or it was supposed to. It does. You did a great job. So, what do you say, Faye? No. No, there's gonna be the Triceratops' black-coated discourse. Let go. Mm hmm You're off to clear YouTube? Bunny, don't do it! <laughs> Bunny's off to clear the YouTube HQ. Eight months earlier. Pray. Ba -ba -ba. Move L in the direction of the beats coming from the top and sides of the screen to hit them. Press the indicated face button. The outer circle is touching the inner circle in time with the music. Move LR in the indicated direction when the arrows completely overlap. Why is this on PC using using PlayStation notation? What? So I just hold it on there and that counts? Okay. That was a miss, okay. That was a hit, that was so early though. So this is like bad Osu. We never climbed, we never fell. I don't like it. We scaled our way out of this water. I'm well. muted? Oh you muted. Why is there a try? I fucked up. Was 
So it's all about doing multiple things at the same time. Thank you, Zara. We're so close to the level five goal. Fuck yes. Okay. Now or never. She's gonna shoot up the school. ILJ, the new demon is ready. You're gonna love it. Oh. Fuck. Let me know what you think. Pause vibes. Stay paused. Everyone stay paused. Oh, hey, Sib, Sarah. are you playing the guitar right now? Ugh. If you'd been, like, a minute earlier, I... Seriously? Why aren't you getting ready for school? Is that my dad? School is for chimps. I'm Chimp getting school. ready for life. Very funny. Me too, by the way. Not all of us can coast on our talent. There's Some something of us so actually have to go to school. Fucked about the perspective. Nerd. How are you always ready so fast? Obama! Pack your bag the night before. It's basic time management. I know how that sounds, but it works. Mom and dad come back tomorrow, you know. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't give you a right now. <laughs> Not me. Class president. Remember? First meeting of the year. Oh, wow. Great. Does this mean there's an assembly today? <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> and thanks for your support. Guys, I think Jerky Suck is having an aneurysm and just hitting, so just, he's just else. flailing at his keyboard, hitting all the redeems. Okay. I'm trying to call for help. Have a good day. <laughs> I'm in danger. You want to head across the bay today and just hang around? Maybe start a new life? You don't have any plans, right? I feel like there's something I'm supposed to do. I don't know. I forgot. Let's just go to the mall. Oh, wait. We're Hello, motherfucker. royalty now. We were coronated. We should go do that, I guess. Seniors. Best year, Best ever. year ever. Just do it! Make your dreams Definitely a new sound for true. you all. Tell the group you're in the audition. Good luck. We made it. Yes, Down best year ever. Bitch, you have wings. Just carry people around. Do like flight Uber. Organo Mitasi. My favorite Star Wars character. This is the new Life is Strange, okay? I feel like they severely cut corners on the art. Hey! Whoa! <laughs> Your hair, it's silver. They're actually and your makeup. Gonna. Uh, wow. When did this happen? Are we all getting makeovers now? All these voice actors are gonna be VTubers of their characters. I do look different. I've evolved. Oh yeah, I forgot you haven't seen it. I leave for six weeks and now you look all different. Hmm. Dressing all cool, doing fancy new stuff with your eyeliner. It's not a big deal. Just wanted to like Set a new tone for the year, I guess. I wore I the guess. same worm drama hoodie for like all six weeks worm of TSMA. Drama. Very misleading shirt to wear around bug people, by the way. TSNI. Can you say bug people? Oh, yeah, duh. Isn't that Tentable isn't that considered hate speech intensive. now? I was in the entomology section. So, bug camp. Pretty much, dude. I have so much to tell you about it. So, what do you do all summer? Worked on songs mostly. Hype her up. I got some big band news this morning. Like, huge. Like, every <laughs> birthday you've ever had yeah. all at once. Wow, okay. That's a lot of cake. And I'm definitely listening. No, 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 no. Why are her we eyes have to glistening wait for a so proper hard? Band meeting. We've got to have Reed. Wow, okay. Not cool, dude. <laughs> Not cool, dude. So, can I tell you my news? You have to put that in every Obviously. bad narrative. Meet Mango. Yeah, I like it. Oh, what a cute creature. I know, right? She's my new pet slash precious baby angel. 
She's an anacophora. A velvet worm. She's the sweet. Wait, velvet worms. They're super rare. Do velvet worms fuck you up or are they harmless? Are velvet worms the ones that puke out their insides? They are the slime lords! They're the ones that do the, the horrible, like, slime puke. Yeah, 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 yeah. They squirt. They don't puke out their insides, but they do squirt jizz. Alright. This game's gonna have some jizz squirting action, potentially. Rosa and I found her because we were out planting this special kind of moss they need for their habitat. Rosa? From second grade science class? Oh, oh my god! Her paper mache volcano! <laughs> Dude, Jerky, I think Mr. you could just have a, like a a phrase generator that has like giant small micros, microscopic blah 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 blah, random color, random 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 adjective or noun, random adjective or noun, and then a random effect it has. Every time you click roll on that table, the creature it generates exists in Australia. Priya quit after that. No, but Rosa is super cool, actually. She was at camp with me, and she knows, like, basically everything about plants. Like, did you know that certain bug species need certain plants not to eat, but so they can reproduce? And they hold Oh, there's a microscopic like, brown dinglehopper. They construct months, electric months, fences. And they'll only lay them on this one plant, and then... In Australia. <laughs> so, you wouldn't think it, but if just one plant goes away, so do tons of really important bugs. Like Mango. She needs a super special moss we were looking for. Usually these little guys hide all day, but because there isn't enough moss anymore, she was just huddled up in a little termite tunnel all alone, and it was so sad. And now she's mine, and I love her the most forever. Check out this video of her slime attack. That smile is so creepy. I was about to say, like, if you Good shot up this title. school, you've done nothing wrong. <laughs> Did she shit herself? Why'd you call her Mango? Uh, very funny. Like, isn't it obvious? So, you really like my hair? What? Oh yeah, it's awesome. Like you're a super hot assassin or like a powerful witch goddess. Hell yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I was going for Hell a... yeah. Dude, tell me that's not terrifying. Sounds like a Jeez. modem. Anyways, I was going for a... It, I was it going is. For more of a... Okay. She wasn't actually interrupted, though. Seriously? The timing's I fucked. guess that still means it's time for class. And a new bell. I mean, hello? Yeah. Ugh. I've got Roberts for homeroom. Whew, not me. Yeah, well, I've got heavens to Betsy. Hey, best year ever? Guaranteed. I agree. Band meeting at lunch in the music room? I'll be there. Ugh, I missed you. I'll be right there too. waiting for you. Bro, buddy. Old sport. Old chum. You're so gay. You probably want this schlong up inside you. Excuse me? Okay, nice transition. Reed, I have big band news. Ooh, what is it? You're not gonna believe it. Oh, excuse me, sorry. How much would it hurt him if I, like, snapped the bone in his tail? If I, like, if I, like, just came up behind him, grabbed near the end, and just went... <laughs> would he be in pain for a long time? Hey, I hope so. up? Check out my new quests. Quests? Yeah, I'm gonna have to prepare some fire spells. <laughs> oh, does anyone yeah. else play you RPGs? What just happened? DAE? Hey, Dungeons Reed. and Dragons? Is there some special circumstance preventing the two of you from taking your seats with the rest of the class so that we may all begin? So, welcome back. Seniors, 
Mm-hmm. Believe me when I say that this year will fly by, and you will find yourselves wishing you'd okay. taken more time to prepare. As loathsome as high school may seem to you now, you are all still in the nest, so to speak. Mm-hmm. You are all eggs, and I will hatch you by force. Excuse me. Um... Gotta be careful, okay? I think we go squiggles. She's day she's daydreaming about band logos. Right. Sure. I have the best news. Band meeting in the music room at lunch. Also check out this logo I designed. Worm. And you will be pushed out to fly or falter in exactly nine months. My job is to make sure you don't plummet to an early demise on your first four. That lump on her reality. snout is cancerous. Is that clear? Way too clear. Excellent. Reed, why don't you start us off then? Tell us your plans for after graduation and I'll give you your first flying. Yo. This starts off as a regular Life is Strange-like, and then you switch to playing as the T-Rex kid. No, no school shooting, he just starts fucking eating people. Lesson, so to speak. Ah, uh, I don't know. Uh, my brother's been doing pretty all right making his deliveries these days. So I figure there's always going to be a need for that. And I'd still have time to practice the drums, you know? Smart. A steady industry that builds on existing skills and lets you pursue hobbies. Who's next? Band Magic the Gathering Music Room. Lunch Big News. Come on, what the hell? Hang! T-Rex kid is you mad because he can't jerk now, it. Not True. to text in my class, yes? I bet he could suck himself, though. Alone up. Sorry, Ms. Roberts. It's just acting really weird. Hand it over, please. No. What the fuck? Are you okay? What? It's not working anyway. Ugh. Mine's not working either. Same. Like totally dead. Anyone else care to update us on the oh, fate of Oh, it's the end emojis? of the world. The meteor's coming Actually, and it's interfering with the connection. Actually, my mom's transistor radio was picking up all sorts of interference this morning. It sounds like that's what happened with the bell, too. Which would also explain why no one can send texts all of a sudden. Oh, cool. Yeah, that sounds good. It's not good or bad, just... Is the amazing. green guy meant to be Asian? to enlighten us. Well, if it's affecting cell phones, it must be pretty high frequency. Oh. oh but, Yo. you know, it reminds we're, we're having Asian buns tonight. I'm not cheating on Lucky Bee. She's steaming Asian buns. I'm not doing cannibalism. I mean, literal bao buns with spicy soy beef. It's me. I've started looking at pre-med classes online. <laughs> because after graduation, I'm going to become a physician. What does that have to do with electromagnetism? What? Uh, nothing. I was just thinking of the sciences in general. What about you? Yes, Fang. God. Since you have so much to say. Dude, punching oh, a person who has I'm a snout, going on tour with like in the band. side of their snout, like coming forward and going right across, after graduation, like going across, first step. that must feel so good. Recording some new songs so we can make a name for ourselves. King of Fighters. You're in a band. 
Oh, I would yeah, only play that Kukri makes sense, of course. King of Fighters. What kind of portfolio do you have so far? Or, ah, uh, that's probably not the right word. Discography. Uh. We're kind of still cooking, you know. We've got some stuff in the works. Well, Kukri. you still have several months to think of a viable career. Someone else? Oh, it's working again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sand, the sand rapist. Isn't that what he is? Hey, do you have a minute? Sure, why not? Yeah, sure, what's up? I just wanted to say sorry that I put you on the spot. I didn't realize you haven't really made a plan. I have a... Still, I, I have... it's interesting that you want to play music. You never seemed like the kind of person who would go to university. Oof. Wow. Thank you. Hookery where hookers are made, indeed. Hookers are caught from the wild. And uh, supplied to brothels. Got the music room. I had to fight... Uh, fist fight a whole choir for it. Yes, awesome. It I think is? the choir's used to getting fisted. Sorry, not you. I gotta go. We actually do play shows, you know. You should come see us sometime. We're about to blow up. Yeah, okay. See you. We're about to blow up. Is that a joke about the See, meteor Bubba that's worms coming? actually have two separate slime exit points. They squirt out the streams at different speeds and angles, and get this, with rotation! So the slime streams cross mid-air and weave a slime net around their prey. A slime net, dude! That ukulele Ugh, is that fucked That is gross. Up. That looks like awesome. a fucking tenor Ooh. body with a soprano. I might have to steal uh, slime net like for one of my L&L characters. Scale. Of course Terrible. you will. I just got a new module. Of course you did. I ran into Naomi at the library over the summer. Now that's gross. She actually had some wild ideas that would totally work with the whole slime thing. Uh, really? Like what? Play and find out. Band news time. Hey, you guys ready? For what? What? No. Wait, what is going on with your face, though? Oh, shit. Turtle. They called me the broom at school. Why? Because you're skinny with a big head? What's with your face? Huh? Your face? No, dude, you look all glowy. Like, good. It is a school shooter game. Got a new foundation? It has micro shimmer. Is it too much? Nope, that's not it. You look happy. Because I am. Okay. Band meeting officially started. You know the big Battle of the Bands coming up? Nope, never heard of it. Battle of the what? Wait, are we fighting someone? Ha ha. The Battle of the Bands that we thought we'd never get That was a Final Fantasy X tier Because I'm ready to punch. Yeah, you are. Oh my god. Focus. I know it's a sarcastic fake Are laugh, but like, ready? Mm, didn't yes. hit it, didn't hit it. Definitely. 100% super for real, ready. Yeah, but are you going to tell us or? We? We got an audition. We got an audition for Battle of the Bands. Whoa. Is this a bunch of different wait, VAs how? recording at home? Did something bad happen to LJ? No. The sound on the and, voices oh is God, really inconsistent. That. No. It's starting she to bother just me. Liked our song. But LJ hates our songs. Like all of them. She really does. Well, she likes this one. Which one? Did I write it? Like the thing is uh, you can fix like that in read, post, yeah. but it's sound It's or, new. I Is this something fucked up that they didn't fix? Really good about it, so I or took was it okay and, and they fucked it up afterwards? And, and she loved it. Worm drama is gonna play Battle of the Bands. If we pass the audition. Wait. Is she I paralyzed? Mean, is cool. she okay? What's the song? Well, like I said, I, I worked on it all summer. I missed you guys a lot. 
So I distracted myself and I focused on music. And I learned some cool stuff. I don't know, I just got really into practicing and thinking about the band and what we could be. This is our year, you know? This is our shot to start the lives we actually want instead of... So what's the new song like? Oh, here we go. Just let me play it. I don't I don't think I'm going to nail this. This part could be cool, but I prefer Osu. Um, excuse me? I moved the orb up! Ugh, well, obviously I'm messing it up, but you can imagine your parts. You can imagine what do you your think? parts. It's... Wait, just, just wait until you hear the whole thing. I, I need to warm up first. No, it was awesome. It's really different. I missed one note really because different. I didn't like push directly is up. Is it I, even warm draw? I diagonally pushed mm. it up. I'm so bad at using my stick. No, and that's the point. Let's go. It's a new sound. A new sound for a new year. Mm, yeah, it doesn't sound like Space Caverns or Gym Teacher Sex Dream. Those are so old. I wrote them when I was Wait, like gym 14. teacher sex dream? Uh -oh. It's kind of cringy. Oh, Plus, fuck. LJ hated it. So? LJ's just one person. One pretty mean person. Did they put that... Did they put Orange Man's recording through a compressor but no one else's? Is that what this is? She's one person who is connected to everything music in this town. We've been trying to play Battle of the Bands for years. Whoever wins... Yeah, I hear ya. Get to spot at Caldera Fest where they pay you money to play music in front of a thousand people. Exactly. It's huge. We'd get real money to start the big tour. Can we really learn all new songs, though? He looks I mean, orange to me. Point. And what if it's a setup? Every contest needs a loser. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because you get to play to an audience. You fucking retard. This get out of my band. This is what a band does. LJ literally told me to write something different. And she's gotten what? Like a dozen bands from this town's side? What matters is how much the people real in the audience like you. Real tours? Doesn't matter if it's rigged. True. Mm. And she's why everyone loves Swamp Babies. Which is like, oh, what? thanks a lot. No one plays the same songs forever. Things change, or we all just rot. Well, hey, you got us our first real shot, right? Yeah. That's cool. When's the audition? Yeah, that's cool. Next weekend. What? Whoa. Oh my gosh. I haven't practiced- Bro, there was a band I auditioned for um, in my mid-teens. And they were like, oh, when do you want to come and audition? And I said, oh, I can I can be there in a, in a couple days. And they were like, wait, what? I thought you needed to, you know, you need to learn our songs. And I was like, yeah, it'll take me a couple of days. <laughs> they were like, oh, we thought it would take like a month. All summer, Bug Camp did not like my guitar. Or actually it did. Like certain bugs liked it to like live inside of it. We can start practicing now. We have all weekend. We're all going to play L&L &L this weekend. 
Who is? Everyone. Me, Rosa, Sage. And then the guitarist oh, was like, Rosa no, we it? play it here. And I was like, yeah. why would you she why would you play me. this higher up the next Sweet. where the intonation's gonna be if you Naomi's playing too. It's the same you notes. It's better to play it down here. And he was like, Oh, okay, let's do that. Trish is there, it'll be a good time. If you're gonna be there, I'm in. Yes! Join the party! Orange yeah. Man is like yes. consistently this. I have and a character the other all ready like for this. you. A dark mage. Very cool. Wait, no, we didn't even get to practice. Uh, trust me, this is gonna be amazing. New songs, new shows. If we can do it in time, anyway. We'll go over everything next practice. When is good? I'm on babysitting duty again tonight. Yay. Maybe tomorrow? Yeah, well, maybe. I gotta work with Rosa on our project tomorrow. Bugs are getting smaller and no one knows why. See ya. See ya. That's not the end of the demo. No, give me, give me a challenge. You cannot be a bowl of cereal right now. What kind of dinosaur is the pink orange guy? Oh, he's Twinkasaurus. Oh. Well. Well. This game's gonna be fucking great. As in, it's gonna be really bad, but funny. <laughs> Which is the same thing if you think about it. Same thing yeah. if you think about it. For Tiff Pod. Tiff Pod? Thank you for the Tiff Pod. Thank you for playing our demo indeed. Uh, everyone fire up a huge salvo, please. Sub. Gigantically appreciated. You have no idea how much your subs are appreciated. Or maybe you do, because I always thank you. All right. I'm going to take a little look at uh, Tyranny. Take a peep at this bad boy. Not sure how long we'll play it. We'll see. We'll see. Tyranny probably rules. Based on all the reviews, based on people talking about it, it probably rules. As a stream game, I don't know. But like, if a game is is like too much for streaming, it's always fun to play it just for like a little chunk, just to check it out. Wrath of the Righteous. I need to finish Kingmaker first. I need to finish Kingmaker before I can play Wrath of the Righteous. No, I do. I know it's not a straight sequel, but I do. Okay. Right in. Wild Frost is possible. I really want to get that uh, true ending in Wild Frost. We'll see. We'll see how it goo 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 go goes. Oh. We good? We good. Why is the like capture just just slightly off? There we go. It's full screen now. Let's go. Normal difficulty requires strategy and efficiency. Forgives a few mistakes in combat. Trial of Iron. Ah. I don't know. What are the what are the helper features? Go. Is that Darth Maul? Oh, 
Also, is this real time with pause or is this turn based? What, what, well, what kind of combat is it? The reviews are like, damn, Over the combat's so good. Years, the armies of Kairos the Overlord have swept across the known real world. Real time with pause? I will not play this whole game. All I who stood against them real fell time with pause. before their might. Even the Archons, women and men of immense power, were forced to kneel. Chained to the Overlord's will. Based, 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 based. Now Kairos's final conquest has come to our corner of the world, and two of the Overlord's armies compete for the honor. I of do taking enjoy. Our I do enjoy a good first-person, real-time, without pause RPG. And the teeming horde of the Scarlet Chorus. The teeming horse. The voices of Narad, Spymaster and Archon of Secrets guides the fierce and undisciplined masses of the Scarlet Chorus. With each battle, the Scarlet Chorus grows stronger as the defeated are given a simple choice. Serve or die. Easy choice. Graven Ash, Archon of War and the Overlord's most loyal general, leads the disfavored. Though small in number, Kairos's ironclad legion has never met true defeat in open battle. Watching over the two generals is Tunan, the Adjudicator, mm. Archon of Justice, eldest of Kairos's minions. Bold, 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 Tunan bold. brings Kairos's laws to newly conquered lands. Aided by the Fate Binders, judges and executioners of the Overlord's laws. You were among the youngest of the court of Fate Binders when Kairos's armies came to our lands. How could we have known that the fate of thousands would rest in your hands. Yeah, you wrote the story. You, you start. You were the first person to know. You decided it, in fact. <laughs> Yo, I love old school Runescape. <laughs> Ethiopian, Greek. Uh, Northern European. I'll be large. I'll be large. In the Northern Empire where you were born, men enjoy equal protections under the laws of the Overlord Kairos. Very well. Kairos can issue edicts, magical proclamations that level cities, spread parks, sundered lands, or change the course of seasons. Fair enough. Right click for details. Holy shit. In the southern lands of the tears. Is this German? Does this mean southern lands of the animals? Only men may own our captain ships. But real estate is restricted to women. What the fuck? Men may lease, but durable ownership of the land in the tears always passes to eldest daughters or sisters. Most sons enter their father's profession by their mid-teens. I can't have a house, but I can have a ship. Just live in a, just live in a ship. Just live in a ship, easy. Most sons enter their father's profession by their mid-teens. Those without a profession or family lands to work can find purpose by pledging service to one of the Overlord's mighty archons. Criminals, derelicts, and others are often conscripted into the armies of the Archons. If a child cannot forge his own skein, he will certainly find one in battle. Okay. Oh, portrait pilled. <laughs> he looked like a creepy ventriloquist doll. Matriarchies work. They just need a slave trade to prop them up. Okay, it's fine. All right. Women have earned it. Okay. What is this? Yo! Hex. 
I haven't shaved in a couple days. Wait, is there an appropriate portrait for this? I don't think there is. What is in your mouth? Where are the bolds at? That could be me. That's me. That's me when I put my super dry hoodie on and play Mahjong on my phone. We have to have no facial hair. I don't... The portraits fuck me up because I'm like, my guy has to... He has to match the portrait. I can't... I can't have... I can't be having a mismatched portrait and face. I can't be having... You can't for sure, Revan, but you can roughly know if a little while after you do it, it updates. This seems to be working. <laughs> no. Gold touched. No. Oh, snake legs? That just looked like you shit yourself and it ran down your legs in a funny pattern. Don't do it. Treeman? Gold fist. Okay. No, that face shit is the worst. Okay. I mean, I have a. St I, I'm working on a sleeve. You know what? Tattoo only on left arm. You know what? That's that's me. That's literally me. Not in the right place, but it's fine. Oh, I'm sure we could just put our own portrait into the game files, but um, ain't no one got time for that. There's no, like, Pinkie Pie. We'll do, we'll do, uh, we'll do gray-black. Well, it should probably be, be black with gray coming out. Okay. As good as it gets. Ah, got it. Ah, got it. Quiet down. My wounds are slowing me down. I need rest. Huh. Heads up, we have company. Good work. You learn something every day. He sounds like a Pixar character. <laughs> got it. Moving cautiously. I must rest soon. I must rest. You were noir. I got it. See that? Heads up, we have company. Heads up, we have company. You know what? I think Good we go work. You learn something every day. It's high noon. We're gonna go sneaky. History. Oh, shit. Ooh. Chat, what would I be? What do you think? Fuck you, hobo. How dare you? Where's Todd? How long do you have? Uh, you have until Thursday. Just pick gay. Excuse me. Lawbreaker. Accused of a crime you most certainly did commit. You stood before Tune on the Adjudicator, Archon of Justice, and argued your case with eloquence and conviction. Impressed by your logic, reason, and confidence, he found you, you guilty anyway. It is rumored that Tunon selects many of his agents for his prisoners, who better to catch the wicked than those versed in such ways. True. True. In his mercy, Tunon offered you the choice of two sentences, decades languishing in prison, or a lifetime serving him in the court of fate binders. You know, there's a solid counterpoint. Anyone who doesn't like Age of Wonders 4, you can, you can prove them wrong about it not being good. Uh, one of the default characters, one of the pre-made characters, is called Ham Binger. Sorry, bro. 10 out of 10. The choice was an easy one, and instead of seeing the inside of a cell, you were trained in letters and numbers, magic and war. The laws you once broke are now yours to interpret and enforce. Based. Yeah, retro, one of the, the pre-made halfling courts, halfling races, with lead, is, is led by Ham Binger. Ooh! As one of Tudon's fate, fate binders. 
Turn on the adjudicator is the Archon of Justice, ruler of the Conquered Realm. We, we heard a bit of this, but... Um, all this of the Archon sent to conquer the Tears. Tunon speaks with Kairos' authority. His true appearance remains hidden behind an iron mask, the face of judgment. Tunon is an impartial, sober creature, wholly obsessed with justice and order. Okay, as one of them, we receive training in the arts of war, the intrigue of magic, and the inexhaustible depths of Kairos' law. Across the Northern Empire, the education of a fate binder is second to none. Those bearing the title are expected to read instructions and understand the economic uh, uh, economies of the realms in which they operate. Literacy and mathematics, skills rarely found on Teratus, are essential skills in the execution of law. Subtler talents like speechcraft or tactics are honed with time and experience under Tunon's guidance. No. He learned frozen grasp. I think we have to go on aesthetics. Oh, so that chooses the uh, the color of your spell, your your magical item. <laughs> we learn hobble, so we can slow them down or shoot them in the fucking heart. And make them bleed. Alright. Unarmed. Palm strike. Interrupting them, pushing them back, and silencing them from spell casting. Jerky, you can be you can be a monk. <laughs> Antifa mode. Bunny, I'm on level three. I'm on level three of Age of Wonders, by the way. The one where it's total war and you cannot make allies. Seven to ten crush. Okay, but how it is a lot weaker, but what if I told you, fuck mages? In games like this, fuck mages. Do you remember my Baldur's Gate character? Dual wielding? It looks kind of like a goober. Plus five unarmed. You get slice and flurry of blows. Wait. Oh. Big sword is pretty good though. Cleave. Sweeping cone. Sunder. Deliver a powerful overhead attack that reduces the target's armor. The javelin does get you a shield. So you get the same abilities as you get for short bow. Five athletics. I'm gonna get subterfuge. A s an unarmed sneaker. Better movement. Better dodge. Bros. Control frost. Magic staff. Dodge and lore. Oh, bro! So lore is connected to spell abilities, but it also affects story. Bro, I think we have to go magic. Oh wait, you do too? Am I a schizo man? Oh, you choose one? Palm strike. Ah, okay. But here's the thing. Definitely go spellcaster. Bonus to Might and Vitality. Can you self-cast? Is it like allied target other than yourself? Or do you count as an ally to yourself? Standout feature, spell creation. Okay, you know what? Do any of them get more lore than the others? Five lore, five lore. Here's what we'll do. 
cooldown 24, cooldown 24. Oh, is this entirely cooldown based? Is there mana? Bro, I, I think I think we go frost and shock. I think we go frost and shock. Yeah. Wait. Frozen grasp? And charged fist. Charged fist? You can interrupt them. You can freeze, freeze and interrupt. Going big magic seems good. Honestly, in a world where you can learn magic and use it as a weapon, I would in real life be a magic lord. And this is a game where I'm doing my own stuff. We're not, we're not doing unarmed. We're doing big mag. And a banner. <laughs> Look, I'm not insulting the game. I'm just saying. This looks like Diablo 3 pre-alpha, like the characters. <laughs> okay. Black and red, we have to be full edge. We have to be full edgy. What kind of what kind of icons are available? That's Hmm. Weird morning, what's up? Alright. That looks neat. These all look neat. I love a good noose. I find it hard to resist the noose. Yeah, let's go. Name, obviously, Jerb. Quickness. Ooh, cooldown? The wit's attribute describes the character's mental acuity. Spell strength and magic defense. Well. Here's the thing. Here's what I'm saying. You don't need a faster cooldown if the enemies are dead. All right. Simple as. Yeah, Diablo 3 is way older, isn't it? Am I fucking crazy? Diablo 3 is like 2012 and this is 2016. When was... Wait, Diablo... Diablo 3 release. 15th May 2012. And this, then this was like 2016, yeah? All right, wit me. Wit me, Houston. Control Frost, Magic Staff. Hmm. Okay. So wit influences the base. Wait, quickness and resolve influence these. Curious. Do you have the clues from fragments of information? Critical magic users who wish to learn new runes. We're putting lore to 50, dude. Lore goes to 50. And then we want strong basic attacks, right? Shock spell expertise? the fuck? What's the... Plus two? It gets plus five from finesse. Half of finesse. 
Plus two frost spells expertise. Plus one shock spell. Oh, because I picked it. It was a bonus of picking those, right? Yeah, 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 friend. Right, for one girl, we talk character stuff and that. And she doesn't have consistent nets. It comes as far. So I wake up and she tells me something very personal. You're trying to figure out how to respond to. Careful, bro. Careful. Just be very careful if she's like, oh no, I need money. Ah. You should only give money to streamers when they do that, okay? Sure, big magic staff, big lore. What could possibly go wrong? Ooh! Selecting the conquest option will allow you to play through Kairos' conquest of the tears. Choosing how your character was involved in the invasion. This gives you the most control over the starting state of the game and how other factions will react to your character. Yes. 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 All the world has fallen to Kairos. Okay, Archon. And now the Overlord's eye Lori. is on the tears. Our home. The last corner of the world free of Kairos' reign. Two armies. The Disfavored and the Scarlet Chorus march south from the Northern Empire, the last realm to fall to Kairos a century prior. Change title? Hmm. To what? I'll change it to tyranny. Got to be very careful not to make a mistake. Let's go. Bonk. In the early days of 428, Kairos Yo, in the early days of 420. The, of judgment, the mountainous border that we tearsmen so long believed unassailable. Unable to agree on a unified plan of defense, the various leaders of the tears sit and wait for I each other to deal with the I can see that I didn't forget why. Until it's too late. Mm, until it's too late. Oh, the first why. True, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. During the conquest, you will decide your character's actions during Kairos' invasion of the Tears, shaping the world through which you will adventure over the course of the game. Each choice you make affects your character and how major factions of the Tears respond to you. Your decisions matter. Choose wisely. I'll do my best. That was great atmosphere. Holy shit. Also, for the people experiencing this, this is the kind of game where you can... You can fuck up really hard without losing, right? It's one of those where shit can get really bad without it being, like, game end. Like the way the the way the narrative could go type deal. Yes or no? The Bastard City. Named for its position between two realms. Fair enough. The Bastard City and its surrounding lands, known as the Bastard Tier. Yo. Bastard Tier Sub. It's a melting pot of cultures and a place of commerce and intrigue. Okay. Bastard City stood on the northern border between Kairos' empire and the Tears. Built upon a natural harbor at the crossroads between realms, the city was a nexus of commerce. To the Tears, it was the center of all wealth. To a northerner, it was little more than a backwater trading post. Its symbolic status as a gateway to the continent made it a natural first target in Kairos' military conquest. The circumstances were ideal for you to prove your worth as a soldier in Kairos' armies. Taking this city would send a message to the rest of the Tears. Kairos' will. Insurmountable. Infiltrate the tears. In the first major engagement of the war, Kairos' armies crossed the mountains and established a foothold. Very well. Oh! The armies of Kairos took the battle to the Gates of Judgment. Trumpeting the opening call of the Conquest of the Tears, the two armies, the Disfavored and the Scarlet Chorus, brought their distinctive sense of order and chaos to the assault. You went to battle alongside the army whose approach best suited your strength. Um, the Scarlet Chorus is little more than a gang of thugs and their captive slaves. Disfavored 
disciplined and battle-hardened, they're disfavored, or an elite legion of Chorus's army. Um, here's the thing. The Scarlet Chorus is the spiky headman army, right? <laughs> yes. Hmm, they follow Graven Ash. I will Scarlet Chorus. You rushed with the chaotic mass of the Scarlet Chorus, flanked the bastard city's army, and drove them to flee. The thugs will be astonished by my magic. They'll be absolutely enthralled. You caught the mercenary army unprepared for the mania and disorder of the Scarlet Chorus. Your forces overwhelmed the tears' defenses in a few short hours, hacking and burning their way into the continent. Any mercenaries who survived the battle found themselves initiated into the Scarlet Chorus, tortured by ruthless interrogators, or made the sport of competition as the army matched, marched ruthlessly forward. Oh, you only pick one of each? Found a way to feed Karus's armies in enemy territory. Uh-oh. Sure. It's food time, boys. Against the most optimistic projections, the disfavored and Scarlet Chorus made short work of the local defenses. They did so well that the armies quickly outpaced their supply caravans. Troops were plentiful, but food was scarce. You only had time to execute one plan. Pillage farmlands or confiscate merchant. Okay, you authorized disfavored troops to confiscate food and supplies from traveling merchant caravans. Or pillage farms and villages. We'll do an order pick, okay? Alright. Because we want to rule afterward. Kairos wants to rule this place afterwards, so... Maybe not going so extreme on the, uh... On the farmers and villagers, okay? Forward. Hang on. Soldiers of the Tears fell by the hundreds, and Kairos' armies could not agree on how to handle the well, what few survivors they dragged back to camp. Befitting your role, the commanders turned to you to decide the fate of those who occupied prison pens. There were only enough prisoners to support the plan of a single army. Conscript or enslave? All gear, keep the pilots warm at night. Okay. Dig, la dig latrines. Or... Yes. Yes. You armed cooperative ex-soldiers with scrap weapons and tossed them into the vanguard of the next Scarlet Chorus assault. Those who survived were welcome to take up the arms and armor of the fallen, and eke out a desperate struggle to survive in Kairos' military. After their first victory, you rewarded the new recruits with the opportunity to execute their wounded or reluctant countrymen. Let's go. The armies of Kairos amassed around the Bastard City, the first bastion of the Tears to fall. Both armies longed to storm the walled outpost. The Scarlet Chorus howling for plunder, and the disfavored forming an unbreakable shield wall. Your prowess on the field of battle had carried them this far, but there was one more step before total victory. Both armies had inspired schemes to take the bastard city. Which did you support? Sabotage. Ooh! Recover, but deal less damage? That's fucking cringe. Eight to fifteen fire versus magic. Is that versus magic resistance? Is that what it's telling me? You joined the Scarlet Chorus in setting fire to the city and blocking the gates. The defenders would surrender. Burn. A mixed band giving me big stealth big dodge big dodge dude we're going full chaos it was passing strange wait it was passing strange to barricade the very gate you sought to cross but it all made sense when the fires began the scarlet chorus sent a constant rain of flaming arrows over the walls of the bastard city a plague that lasted through long days and tireless nights by the end, the blaze was too much for the city defenders to contain. Citizens crowded at the gates, pleading to be freed from their smoldering city. You and your army were happy to oblige them. When the gates opened, they opened from the inside. 
Got him! Ooh! The bastard city settled into a new state of normalcy, with every tower displaying Kairos' banner. Your name was whispered alongside rumors of a decorated career to come. The armies divided into two fronts and migrated south. Tunon sent word that you were to join the next frontier of Kairos' conquest, either as judge and overseer of the settlement of Levian's Crossing, or as a war advisor with the armies advancing into the realm of Aeons. Okay, deposits of iron are here. Get a flow of weaponry. Enforce law. Or... We can go, uh... Violence mode. You know what? Let's get into... Let's get into diplomacy. Hmm. Didn't Agony turn out to be trash? Ag wasn't Agony one of those games where it was getting like restricted or censored on Steam and everyone was like, no, don't censor their art. And then everyone played it and was like, Jesus Christ, this is fucking garbage. <laughs> is it that one that I'm thinking of? Years ago, Lethian the Bold founded a small merchant town at the intersection of ancient old walls. Oh, Anonymous Agony? Never heard of it in my life. Hmm. Found in a small merchant town at the intersection of ancient old walls, a pact between the settlers and a mercenary company meant the caravans were able to travel without fear of bandits or bane, and the town thrived in modest insignificance. Lethian's crossing drew Kairos' attention for the iron deposits in the surrounding hills. Mm hmm. Archon we got you. With the regions uh, under Kairos' control, the northern smith mages could set up workshops to refine ore and arm the disfavored with the finest weapons in the world. The Archon of Secrets dismantled the mercenary support with a generous bribe, taking the crossing in a bloodless victory. Tunon dispatched you to travel alongside Kairos' forces and bring order to the region. The game about the serial killer pedo. Very cool. That's really like overperforming, man. I have a solution to improve production. The Cult of Sirin. Sirin, Archon of Song, used her arcane charm to lure locals into joining Kairos' army. As a patroness of the Scarlet Chorus, her efforts were critical to the conscription of new recruits. When an enthralled, disfavored soldier joined her cult, his company feared that the Archon was growing out of control and needed to be stopped. Destroy the cult? Or, in Scarlet Chorus tradition, you sent the latest batch of cultists to the front lines of the Apex campaign. Those who survived were welcome to remain in Kairos' military, and their performance would stand as testimony to Siren's effect. Siren! Siren! Oh, serial pedo killer! I gotcha. I did mix up the order. It's true. <laughs> uh. The Scarlet Chorus agreed to transfer Siren's. Because she sings. She's a si Okay. Siren's latest recruit to the front lines of the Apex campaign. Your resolution fit their traditional model of conscription, so they considered it a fair alternative. In the weeks to come, more of them returned to active duty than even Siren herself expected, likely owing to their obsessive devotion to the Archon and her enchanting music. Alright. Alright. Wordbound Mage swore allegiance to Scarlet Chorus. Arcane Predators. Drawn to the arcane energy around the forges, mystical predators from the nearby Old Walls began to raid Lethians crossing at all arrows. Both of Kairos' armies reserved their strength for the front lines of the war, and yet the city required protection. You had to delegate responsibility somewhere. Let's see what this one is. One of Kairos' ma uh, smith mages swore allegiance to the Scarlet Chorus. Very well. 
jealousy, uh, jealously hoarding the secret of iron forging. The disfavored demanded the smith's immediate return. The Scarlet Chorus insisted that they were within their rights to take allegiance from any source. Tempest flared and the forges cooled as arguments stalled productivity. Since Kairos' law dictated that the secrets of iron be granted only to the smith mages, you've ruled that the new recruit's mind be erased of all memory. Let's fucking go. The Scarlet Chorus presented a strong interpretation of Kairos' law. With no memory of smelting or forging, the recruit would be a smith mage no more. You enlisted from among the more deviant arcane practitioners to destroy their new colleague's mind. They assaulted the recruit with a combination of spells typically reserved for torture and interrogation, stripping away his sense of self until nothing remained but an obedient servant, ready to serve Kairos on the field of battle. Tragedy struck when a mercenary hired by the voices of Naret. That's the Archon of Secrets very well. Injured a forge-bound artisan, leaving him, un him unable to practice his craft. Tunon ordered the mercenaries to leave the city in the hands of Kairos' more responsible servants. Only a token garrison could be left behind, while the armies returned to the front. As the disfavored and Scarlet Chorus showed increasing tension and hostility toward each other, Tunon decreed it best that only one force controlled the crossing. He granted control of Lethian's crossing to the Scarlet Chorus. That will kind of fuck over weapon production, but you know what? That's fine. The Scarlet Chorus flooded Lethian's crossing with overeager and undisciplined recruits. In the first few days of occupation, settlers suffered under rampant theft, murder, rape, and arson. By the following week, the hordesmen, who sowed chaos for personal gain, were dead. Strung up by the more disciplined half that took up the reins as the self-appointed bosses of Lethian's crossing. It all works itself out in the end, lads. It all works itself out. The forge bound continued to mint iron weapons and armor, which Kairos' merchants carted to the disfavored garrisons elsewhere in the tiers. Shipments were light or sometimes absent. The Scarlet Chorus Quartermaster claimed ignorance of the matter. Let's fucking go. Let's rig things in favor of the Scarlet Chorus. Good God. You may choose. You may choose only one. You may choose only one. Is this game called Reading Rainbow? Bro, I didn't realize how fucking... <laughs> uh, yeah, I... Uh... Which would be good on my own, but... For stream, not not just because reading games can be rough for stream and put people to sleep, but because it will fucking annihilate my throat. Uh, when we're, we're not gonna go, we're not gonna go with this past the break. Let's just go really fast. Let's just go. Let's go fast and try and get into the actual game. I should have done quick start. I thought I would play, like, well, I'm playing, but I thought I thought it would be like an intro scenario that's more normal. And I feel like by skipping, I've sort of like, I'm like fucking myself, aren't I? Hmm. Fuck is DD2. I'm gonna play Darkest Dungeon 2 when it's out on the 8th. Only sickos complain about my stream, okay? I started it because I saw it in my Steam library and it was gifted to me. Sure, continue. Erase your progress and start again. It, it is because of that, Rev. There was a quick start option, though. Okay, we're actually going to get to see what the world is like. The year whatever is you say, Bunny, whatever you say. And Kairos' invasion has shattered all major opposition in the tiers. The Younger Realms, the Bastard Tier, the Free Cities. All who defied Kairos lay broken by battle or bowed in surrender. The two armies of the Overlord, the, game was just the Disfavored, demo. and the Scarlet Chorus we, we did now control thing. our lands. Mm -hmm. But our will is not yet extinguished. Not entirely. In the Valley of Vendrian's Well, those of us unwilling to bow to Kairos have banded together in defiance. Oh, you die. 
violating an oath of surrender from two years prior, we have staged a bloody uprising. Uh, excuse me? You murdering can't do that. the disfavored and Scarlet Chorus Garrison in a midnight assault. With their main forces spread across the tiers, the disfavored and Scarlet Chorus redeploy to Vendrian's Well to crush the resistance. But months pass with no definitive battle. As disagreement and discord paralyze the Archons, we bide our time and wait for our message of insurrection to spread across the tiers. The Overlord is not amused. Are you not amused? And Kairos has one message for the Archons. Crush the Oathbreakers or die. Fuck monarchy. Kairos backs Just this saying, threat with fuck an monarchy. Edict. I'm a proud Magical American. Magical command Fight for the rights that can of every slay man. all in the valley should the order be ignored. The honor of proclaiming this edict fell to you. Sent across the mountains oh, to Vendrian's shit. Well, you carry the Overlord's edict to read before the Archons. Oh, shit. As you finally mm. make your way through the winding mountain passes into the valley, the ground trembles, I'm and Kairos' magic Canadian, seals no. the way behind you. You are trapped in Vendrian's Well, with Kairos' armies and the Oathbreakers. The only way to survive is to fulfill the terms of the Overlord's Edict, in any way that you can. Very well. Fatebinder Jerb, I presume we've been expecting you. Is your first visit to the attorney? Watch for these windows to help you become familiar with the game. You can disable the tutorial messages at any time. I feel like my monitor is way too big. Like the amount my eyes have to jump around in so many games. Just a just a side note. I feel like a 12-inch monitor would be ideal. Nah, more like more like maybe I don't know. 16 inch? I think my current one's 27 inches. I feel like a little more than half of that would be good. Aurora. Do I left click? Kairos, the Overlord, be praised. When I heard the avalanche, I feared the valley was sealed. With you on the other side. This favored warrior claps her gauntlet to her breastplate, the traditional salute of her legion. Uh, conversations involve you and other characters and sometimes additional parties. The choices you make change how the story develops. People in the world learn of your reputation, good or bad, and respond accordingly. Characters' attributes, skills, history, and gender, as well as decisions you made in the conquest, may all open up options for you in dialogue. These options are not necessarily superior to the other responses, but give you a wider variety of choices. Okay. The banner beneath, which tells you about their faction. Okay, uh, names of important characters in gold. Um, I'm in a hurry to deliver a message to the Archons. The thing is, I have to be close to see it. It's a big monitor, and I have to be close to see it. So maybe, like, glasses and sitting further away would work. We were told a fate binder was coming, and th uh, though our commanders will not say why, it seems obvious. Grave and Ash and the voices of Narat can agree on nothing. Least of all battle plans to wipe out the Oathbreakers. I trust we bring orders from Tunon that will break this deadlock. Can you hear that hum in the air? That glow around the rocks. The avalanche is Kairos' magic. The Overlord has sealed the valley. Hmm? Your senses see more than mine, good fate binder. I do not pretend to know much about such things. But if that was Kairos' magic and you're here on important business, well, you don't have to be the Icon of Secrets to guess that you're here to proclaim an edict. What does Kairos have in store for the enemy? Ten years of festering plague? An edict of twisted bones? I come bearing an edict of Kairos. Our soldiers will complete their task or die. Jeez! Jeez! She seems like she's... she's. If this was an anime, she'd be blushing right now. The edict is leveled against us. Her eyes widen with fear. Her posture slackens. But the Scarlet Chorus prevents us from taking action. Why would the Overlord punish both of... She clears her throat with a sigh. Give me. It's not my place to question. We should have conquered the enemy within weeks of arriving in the valley. The delay reflects poorly on all of us. Hmm. Subterfuge 20. Your first instinct is to blame the Scarlet Chorus. No wonder Kairos resorts to an edict. 
Yes, well, for I shift to the side. There has indeed been little goodwill between our armies. You're right. When we act as we do, what choice do we give the Overlord? You're right. I should not cast blame so freely, especially not when talking to a servant of justice. My apologies. Well, you've traveled a long way. I won't keep you further. I'm sure the Archons will want to hear from you. Her voice falls silent, her attention snapping eastward with alarm. Did you hear that? More runners, third time this week. The Earthbreakers keep trying to send messengers through the mountains to gather help from outside the valley. She points over to the collapsed path by which you arrived. But they're a bit too late for that now. Come, let's show these Earthbreakers a good fight. We're gonna have fucking violence! Is that a fucking, um... Tulwar? Is that a Tulwar he's wielding? Tony uses a pausable real-time combat system. Because you will often manage more than one character at a time, it's a good idea to pause the game, issue orders, and resume real-time to see the orders play out. The options menu also contains many choices for automatic pausing. Sure, basic attacks. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, it seems standard. Um, you know what might be cool? Wait, is that the range of Frozen Grasp? I like Mage Fire. <laughs> Bunny, please. I didn't realize how intense. I knew there'd be a lot of story. It is fragmatic, but I don't know. Maybe a maybe a an ice hand could appear. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Okay. Uh, we could do this. We could do. I installed a bunch of games. Um, that's not what I'm. No, Demonov. The actual interface shit. Demanding reading as well. I I, th I thought there would be a, a more general, more equitable mix of like doing fighting stuff and reading. Although maybe there is later. But I figured I'd give it a peep because I was gifted it a long time ago. I never played it. This feels like a game for me to play. Um, in 40 years when I'm retired... Um, and hopefully have money, I'll have enough free time to be able to play this game. Uh, for now, I don't think it fits on stream, and I don't have that kind of time outside of stream to play games. So, in 40 years, I'll play the game. You do Vagent. Uh, Bendy and the Dark Revival. Oh, shit. Could do Vild Frost because someone asked about that. Uh, and then another option, I guess, could be good. Age of Wonders is already on. Is already an option. We've got Age of Wonders four. We've got Vaganti. We've got Bendy and the Dark Revival. Wild Frost. And uh, do I give you a fifth? Um, Bone Razors is for later. Bone Razors is like a last hour game. Uh, and I'll put Despots game on there. You know what? I'm in a Despots Despots mood. For now, though, I'll read a bit more of this. I'll do a little bit more of this. Until the end. Leveled up. There are six categories of talent available to your character. Leadership, defense, power, agility, range, and magic. With each level, you gain one point to purchase a talent from any of these categories. Within a talent tree, each tier of talents unlocks based on how many talent points have been spent within that tree. Okay. Classic. Single malt 30-year-old. I can't be trusted to have alcohol. Okay. A fifth, a fifth single malt. Vaganti is that, it's that roguelite 
with a really nice presentation. I... How do I tell you what it is? Side scroller, like, um, dungeon diving. A boss on each level. I don't know. It's really nice, and I haven't played it for a long time. Uh, each companion has their own talent trees. These abilities unlock in the same manner as your character's talents. Okay. Right, but here's the here's the deal. How do I access On my character sheet? Oh, both left and right click on move. West though. And plus two armor. Spoil me. You're telling me I allegedly leveled up. Reputations, journal, talent, talents. I didn't level up though. Why are you lying? I don't think I have anything. Magic. Spell a breach. Adds the spell breached affliction to thrust attacks. Charge up the magic staff and release a powerful burst of energy that explodes in a small area. Did the game not say you leveled up? I don't know if I can get him to speak right. again. Oh, he just barks occasionally. Mm -hmm. Honest. Sounds like Matt Mercer or something. Like we should be vigilant and deal with the remaining Oathbreakers in the past. It seems like a suicide mission. What do the Vendrian Guard hope to accomplish? She's shrugging. She's shrugging. From what we've learned from the other prisoners. The runners are instructed to escape the valley and drum up support for the Earthbreakers cause us with the tears. I don't know who they think will listen to their pleas. We've smashed every army, fortress, and self-proclaimed ruler these low-born tears. Perhaps they think the wild beast will rally to their side. His favorite victory has soaked the tears with fear. Perhaps if you had more thoroughly destroyed these tears, man, we wouldn't be having this current problem. You gained wrath with this favorite. Okay, dude. Aurora stares at you with narrowed eyes. We had a lot of ground to cover, and it made sense to accept their surrender and push deeper into the tears. She shakes her head. No use arguing strategies of this today. Carry on. Can I, uh... Oh, let me push the boulder. Rock slide blocks the path ahead. You can squeeze through a narrow gap between the stones, or you can attempt to push one of the boulders out of your way. Oof. Squeezing seems unsafe. Ah, uh, let me pause. Get fisted. Uh, having been fisted, get frozen. I thought I would interrupt her. Turns out I will not. Being close range. It is real time with pause. That's... that. If I'm going to have any issue with the game, it's that it's real time with pause. Let's be sure. What is the 81%? Is that how much health you have? Nope. Um, I mean, you know what? Run up and diddle. You're burning. Um, oh, thrust is a magical attack. Right. Oh, you just shove your fucking shit into them. Okay, dude. <laughs> right. Okay, I'll freeze her because he's almost dead. <laughs> You're done. You're done. <laughs> Shut up, buddy. It's fine. No, I like this. Um, I like this, but I, f like, I feel like I don't have the time in my life to actually play this and appreciate it properly. Sun Soldier Javelin. I mean, I'll take it. I don't imagine there'll be a place oh to sell God. stuff here. 
Oh, damn. Don't bother with me. Go down the pass. Drastus. The soldier clutches his gun and winces. You can see a hint of entrails between his fingers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're wounded and it's not trivial. He laughs through clenched teeth. This is but a scratch. I've seen twice as worse ten times over. If you'll let me help. I said I'm fine. Graven Ash protects. You go on and help the others. I'm helping. Oh, damn. If you're gonna Sorry, die, just I pop, can't. just pop a mushroom. Several skulls. Sun blotchy boys. Wait, why are these all green? Is this infighting? Try and catch me, worm. They take a lot of time. The thing is, I can't be taking like tons of time on a stream. I feel like, I feel like to engage with this properly, I would have to ignore chat completely for long periods of time, which never no, which never normally happens. I know you say it does. Try and catch me, worm. A young Scarlet Fury weaves around the Vendrian guard attackers. Yeah, Scarlet Chorus. Yeah, 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 yeah. She nods to acknowledge you. A breathless enemy, enemy soldier. Passes a glance to her countrymen. This one's crazy. Too much lead in her water. We should cut our losses and turn back. Ah, fate finder. You're here at last. Care to join me in putting these cowards out of their misery? I'll join the battle. For the realm of Apex, charge. Heads up, we have company. Oh, she's on our team now. What abilities does she have? Burning iron. If she doesn't seem too good. She, she's, bro, she's not. Okay, chill. Blood soaks stone. Coordinate with verse. Knock a target prone, then follow up with a strong bleeding attack. What do you mean? What do you even mean? Oh, both have it, and they just team up to do it. That's kind of nifty. I don't mind that. Let me burn this one. Bunny, it's a magic trick, okay? As In the I words do. of Randy Stare, not Randy Stare. Wait, what's the Randy Pitchford? Randy Pitchford, not to be confused tent. with Randy Stare. Okay, chill. I can I can tell you didn't spend the conquest in a diplomat's tent. The photo surveys the fresh corpses and nods with satisfaction. I'm verse, by the way, but there are more important things to take care of than introductions. Those Vendrian guard we killed didn't come alone. Hmm. I'm ready if you are. Eager. <laughs> I like that. Igor. Before we go, you might search among the remains of our fallen comrades. Wherever they're bound, I doubt they'll miss their boots, much less any rings or any useful Ring. iron they might be clutching. Rings were first introduced by Kairos. I see your point. No reason practical. to pity the fallen. Before long, we might wish we'd joined them here. But at least we'll enjoy heavy pockets and warm toes. For the voice Excuse me? Of First throws her brow and fo focuses down on the back to come. Grab. Mm. Why am I mentioning him in relation to this game? Uh, well, no, I'm mentioning him in relation to uh, what Bun Bunlord was saying. Okay, seems good. Let me check my inventory. Excuse me. Aha. Scarlet Fury. Increased deflection. Worse recovery, better accuracy. I don't like worse recovery. None of this seems good for us. Yo, what do you have equipped? She has two weapons. Oh god. Uh Well, we definitely do a switcheroo. Wait, this is a um.
In, I mean, 9 to 14 is just better. Sun, Soldier's Javelin. 7 to 11. 8 to 11. That's the same shit. Chill. Holy fuck. Red Rivers. We want to compare it to Red Rivers. Better penetration, worse recovery, worse DPS. Nah, we leave her like that. She's not wearing a helmet. She can have that helmet. Yo, she looks cool with that. Mm-hmm. She looks cool with that. You know what? I like it. Do I have access to all the healing potions? Where are the healing potions? Quick items. Okay. And how many can you... You can have 10. Okay, fair enough. And what's that? Scarlet Poison. Ah, you want to... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So this game does seem very cool. However, I figured I'd give it a chance on stream. Uh, but I don't see this... I don't see this game vibing off too hard just with the sheer amount of reading and the pace at which I'd have to go and the focus I'd need to do it at all. However, Age of Wonders, despite being a different kind of game, it's, it's 4X, gives a bit of that, uh, that fantasy feel. Some, uh, with some quests in the story mode. It's not that extreme, Bunny. Chill, chill, chill. Age of... Age of Wonders 4. Story time. I don't think too many people are ready to play multiplayer. It's definitely... No, no, no. Zara, it rules. Tyranny seems like it would rule if I played it. But I feel like it wouldn't work here. And I don't have time off stream. So I look forward to playing it in... Uh, in my retirement. Oh, I'll just title it War. I'll play some... Uh, I'll play some last spell music. I'll go pee and then I will return. I promise. Fresh hex BRB screen, by the way.
Oh, I've returned. Mmm. <clears throat> <coughs> a lot of the time I'd agree that hot sauce is better as an ingredient. But, like, consider wings. Lucky Bee also had a good idea. I'm gonna dig out my Switch and my capture card, and we can do some Mario Maker. Not today. Oh, but it's a thing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, on to mission three. Or, who's here and wants to try the online? Ooh, Breath of the Wild. I don't know, I tried it. I really didn't like Breath of the Wild. I gotta say. <laughs> Morrowind Maker. You can kind of do that. You can kind of do that. I also don't know how it works online. That's the th Breath, of Breath of the Wild would have been good as a PC game. Not responding. Oh no. Oh, let me launch it again. I find it crazy only 9% of people have beaten level 2. I guess people just go straight into doing random skirmish stuff. I stand by my statement that Genshin Impact is better Breath of the Wild. It's kind of launching. It's kind of working. I don't know. It's having a it's having a struggle session. There we go. <clears throat> Ooh. Do 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 do. There's auto mod. There is auto mod. Okay. Maybe there'll be crab people DLC. Let me just look at how the online works. Oh. Hold up. I have to hide this from you briefly. Um... Seems like a decent enough password. Don't listen to my clacking. You do apparently need a Paradox account to play multiplayer. You gotta put in your details. My birthday, 17th November, 1901. Uh, 1991. Afghanistan. You have to scroll with your scroll wheel. I've read and I accept all of these things that I have never seen in my life. Read and understood. Passwords do not match. Uh-oh. Passwords match. I'm in. At hotmail.co.uk. Okay. Login. Please provide your preferred player name. Harmful opinions. Email turn notifications enable. Yeah, I don't know if... Hmm. That suggests to me this is going to be some slow, slow, slow shit. I don't know. I don't know if multiplayer will be stream content. Downpour. Flake dead in Seder. Kukin. I'll figure it out though. Choose right. your destination. 
Archipelago, the Guardian Enchanted Archipelago, Crimson Caldera. Yeah, definitely only with Chan. Uh, what do we have? As an agent of the Shadrai. As an agent of the Shadrai? Why would I join the Shadrai? I thought I was fighting the bad boys. I thought Shadrai were like the fuck people up. Sergei Rodchenko has followed us. These are our ascended races in our pantheon. Edit pantheon name. MyPantheon.com Alright. Hug, hug club, obviously. Oh, Lucky Bee's been doing sketches for new sub badges, by the way. Just so you know. The hug club has Jerb Crake and Dimmy Socket Stab. I've played a whole bunch of Heroes Hour, yeah. Ah, uh, Eternal Battle. Okay, wait, wait, wait. As an agent of the Shadrai. Yeah, these are the guys, these are the aggro guys who are all fucked up, who we've been fighting. Venture to a demonic realm of never-ending war? The search for an ancient Archon artifact of power. Become the victor in an arena of mad violence and end the curse of Omidoth. It's an infernal world ruled by demonic princes. Fair enough tricked into playing Oblivion, which brought doom upon so many aspiring kings and god here. It's a caldera, with lava at the center of the map and mountains towards the edges. Okay. Eternal battleground means everyone is at fucking war. Everyone is at war. Uh, they can be your ally if you conquer them and release them as vassals, though. Okay. They're made of mayhem. It has a maddening influence seeping into the minds of those that fight. Every three turns, all units have a base 30% chance of being inflicted with Berserk? Fuck me. Your journey starts here. Oh, N N Nimue and Yaka become options. Look, it's Hambinger of the Wholesome Halflings. Heckin' Wholesome Marino. Yeah, the in-game wiki is fantastic, Bunny. Yeah, we'll create we'll create a fresh faction. A realm of absolute war. I mean orcoids. Orcoids seem like a good a good choice for this. Strong. Increases physical damage. What are our what are our options? Like what would help us with this? I don't much care for mounts as a as a bonus. Tough seems always good. Just 10% more damage. How, how much is defense? Is it flat to reduction? I don't actually know how defense works. Sorbet Lords? You know where that works. She'd do well in a realm of eternal violence. Resolute. That doesn't help us with the Berserk because it only lasts for one turn anyway. Keen sighted. Better accuracy at range. We already did dimmies. We already did dimmies. I feel like decreasing how much we lose health is good. I think that's really good. Damage penalties from casualties are halved. It just seems extremely good as well. Adaptable. More XP. Magic attacks do more damage. And, uh, morale loss is reduced. Way more defense. I mean, way more defense is good. If we're going to be fighting, fighting factions a lot, you feel me? Better flanking damage. The goal is to avoid casualties. Yeah. Tough and ferocious, so when we get hit, we take less damage, and when we hit them back, we do more. What to me, that seems good. Culture? We're in a demonic realm. I wish I could just peep 
I wish I could peep the like um the the the, the not skill tree, like the, this game's version of the tech tree with the uh with the alignments to see what you actually get for this. More gold. More gold as a governor. We like when you put your guy who has that alignment in as governor. Okay. Culture of scholars. It's structured with mana income. We could go magic. Right? Magical cats. What is your people's form? Fast recuperation's good, so none of that's to do with magic. There are magic ones here though, arcane focus. But just because we go magic doesn't mean our units have to be magic focused. What is their origin culture? What do you think about this? Mystic. The mystic cats, led by Sorbet. What defines their society? Ancient wise ones. When a tome is unlocked, a random skill from that tome costs minus 60% knowledge. Starting bonus one random research skill is already unlocked. Gifted casters. Combat spells cost less. More combat casting and more world map casting. That seems way fucking better. Mana channelers. Summoning spells cost less mana to cast. Magic origin units have plus one rank. Gifted casters and mana channelers. Let's go all in on magic. Astral. All in on astral and see what it's like. Wonderful hobo beam. Beautiful. Choose your first tome of magic. I'm awarding. Uh, Someone lesser storm spirit. Versus phantasm warrior. You know what? Ooh, more resistance to our race. That seems good. What's bolstering support? Support abilities grant one bolstered resistance to affected units. Okay, we could have, we could have Sorbet be a be a support hero. What what's the option here? Channeling tower. You can get conduits on any on any uh, annexed domain. Okay. Lightning weapons. Means our hero does lightning. Uh, fulmination. Do lightning damage. Uh, make base magic attacks of enchanted units deal more light, deal two lightning damage, and potentially electrify people. Get access to the evoker. An evoker that does chain lightning. Bro. You can damage them on the world map. Term of evocation is real interesting to me. Magical ward seems good too though. Although I don't know if we're going up against people who are gonna use magic on us. I feel like we're gonna have fire monsters and stuff, fire demons. I feel like magical wards is probably a really good idea. We'll go for this. What is your ruler's origin? Wizard King. Cities have more mana income. Plus five world map casting and combat casting per level of the Wizard King? Oh, shit. And once per battle can cast two spells? Yeah, this seems fucking cracked. Beyond belief. Reveal yourself. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. Oh, I didn't realize you could have a different race leading. When someone asked about that, I didn't understand. Okay. Needs to be, uh... Okay, Sorbet is a chonk. Uh, she's a, she's a, she's a short chonk. 
kind of gray colored. No, 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 no. You go light gray. And we need the right skin decoration. Oh, the skin decoration is like gold and stuff. That could be patterns as well. You know what? That's pretty close. Let's go for that. Rat race led by a cat would be pretty tight. We need the laziest pose possible. I think this is very sorbet-ish. Obviously, she can't do this and doesn't do this pose in real life. Sorbet is a girl cat. <laughs> the eyes. Wait. Those are sorbet eyes, okay. We want like yellow. Yeah, like this for sorbet. Let's go. Hairstyle. I mean, believe it or not, sorbet doesn't have dreadlocks. I mean, she doesn't really have extra hair besides what's on top. So we'll do it like that. Um, I mean, yeah, this doesn't affect anything. Outfit. Um... Mummification is weird. Don't mummify your pets. This seems reasonable. This works. Cape. With all the feathers of birds she would kill. But she's an indoor cat, so she doesn't she doesn't kill any birds. Gnats that get in on the other hand, she will absolutely murder. Yeah, I'll give her the feathery boys. Armor color. Have it black. All right, what colors for this? I mean, that doesn't really affect anything. White and uh, what do we put on the white? White and orange, maybe. And for the icon, does somebody like me now? No. Nope. Orange hissing cat. Right. True. White and black. You know what? White and black. Sorbet kinda does hate everything. To be to be fair. Race. Uh they'll be underfed because Sorbet eats all their food. Uh, and they'll be black, sure. Army armor color. Sure. That looks silvery. I can make them black and ginger. They don't seem to have mounts, they just fly. How do I know what I've picked? Uh oh. Santa race. Your journey begins. All right. Sorbet. You can have no last name. Okay. Mm. The Mystic Felines. Sorbet of the Mystic Felines. I mean, there's chat rats, and this could be chat cats. Why not? Keep it simple, stupid. Astral Lady. Empress Sorbet. Hail Empress Sorbet, Wizard King from the Beyond. Her arcane powers will shape the future of the Chat Cats. 
cat-like beings who move with feline grace. They're tough and used to taking a few hits in battle. They hone their reflexes and will not let their enemy walk away from a fight unscathed. They have integrated magic into every level of their society, with mages on the top of their hierarchy. They are blessed with an innate talent for spellcasting. Their society is attuned to the astral flows, enabling them to channel arcane powers. Very well, they just launched Crimson Caldera. Chat is Ages indeed ago, French for cats. When the astral sea was still young, the Archons created a magical artifact. Forged in the fires of an elder dragon, dragon the Gilda Wally. Coil served as an arcane compass, guiding the Archons through the currents between realms. Betwixt. According to legend, it still Betwixt. contains the echoes of their arcane journeys, and can lead those who hold it to forgotten places of sealed knowledge and magic. Shut up, old Elden Man. We should replace all uses of old in our language with Elden. With its mysterious promise of power, the guild oh, that's Elden the news. greed of many rulers, until a daring godier betrayed the Archons and stole the guild coil from their celestial reliquary. Oh, shit. Ever since then, all traces of the compass have been lost, as oh. have those of the cunning thief who disappeared into the mists of time. Fair enough. This this is very Assassin's Creed. I remember this mission. Or so it seemed for many a lifetime. That's not a real the tattoo. Eva she did that with Sharpie. Was the first of the Shadrai to find clues of the Gilda Coil's whereabouts. Myths Ethyl nitrate? leading to runic omens, leading to riddles. The Shadrai were persistent in their search. For too well did the Archon artifact fit into their unfolding plans. Mm. And they were rewarded. In the infernal world of Obidoth, Obidoth, there exists a realm known as the Crimson Caldera, where war is eternal. This is a cunny Here, free chat. Here, the Gilda yeah. lay hidden. No pedo Yet stuff. the Shadrai sought no open conflict with Obidoth's demonic princes. As they weighed their options, an ambitious godier from their ranks volunteered to venture there alone, well aware of the prestige and power that could be gained within their order. Jason Walcunny can refer to female anatomy of any woman. It is also so often used to refer to cartoon children. Do we have to listen to this? Yes. All right, let's go. Here we are. You know, for like a realm of fire, this doesn't seem too bad. Mark of invulnerability. Damn, nice buff. That seems really nice. Cosmic ablation. 10 lightning damage, 10 fire, 10 frost. Get fucking nuked, you dumb shit. Okay, that all seems pretty nice. It's her! It's her! From the intro video. From the shrouded mist of your mind. I mean, Jason, if you're brave and you want to, and you don't, if you don't believe me and you're brave, type it into Twitter search. From the shrouded mist of your mind emerges a woman all clad in ethereal silk. I see you have arrived in the Crimson Caldera, Sorbet, she says, and you recognize her as Little Nightweaver. Very well. She does a magic blast for 16 damage. 16? What the hell damage is that? Is that just regular magic damage? Generic? Magic? Pure magic? All should dry have put much faith in your talents. Remain alert. Holy or light, okay. Mistakes are deadly in this demonic realm, in which everyone is a prisoner of war. Betrayal looms over each moment to come, be it through the enemy, the land, viciously changing shape, or even your own soldiers. I will talk to you through visions like these. Follow my advice and you will claim victory. Speak to me of the Gilder Coil and its bearings. The Gilder Coil is not simply secreted somewhere in the Crimson Caldera. Biffle begins to explain. It is safeguarded closely by its current owner. The challenge is to find out by whom. All the present Godier are inherently suspect and must therefore be sought out. 
Just remember, they are all insane and will only tell the truth when forced to. Once you found the first of them, we shall talk again. Lithel makes an elaborate gesture. Hmm. After which a map showing the major strongholds of the Crimson Caldera appears. This is where you must seek out all suspect Godia. The map is too primitive. Spend 50 mana to improve it. I'll just reveal all of the players. Yeah, let's go. Take the map, that's it. Downloaded full save? I did not download a full save though. I'm cursed. Army of Survey. Mystic projection acquired. Wait, cosmic bolts? Wait, what? It does one of each of three different types of magic? Dude, you fucking suck. Holy sh Oh, you're a scout. Never mind. Why does you look like Bobby Hill, the cat? Uh, I thought that was my bonus unit. It's not. It's just a scout. I'll set it to auto explore. Um, Sorbit. You have a skeleton. Tier 1 skeleton. Level 27 skeleton. It'll take like two minutes. Mm, it's fine. It's fine. Summon Phantasm Warrior. Scroll of Attunement. Increases damage dealt and spells are cast. Um, I think summoning phantasm warriors is, is going to be a good move. I just believe. I believe the children of the future. I believe the children of the future. Oh, sorry. Mana draft and production. That just seems really good. Nine damage isn't good, though. There are basic attacks that deal like nine damage per action point. I swear. Maybe I'm remembering it correctly. Oh, wait. I didn't pick her weapons. Oh, no. I just gave her I just gave her default weapons, dude. I didn't tweak Sorbet's weapons. She's a knifer. I need her to have magic. Yeah, this does 14 damage times three. Uh, you can, Jason. You can also... The, the whole idea of this game is that wizards are doing a heckin' magical eugenics. Plus a shield. Although, if we're going for defense, that's good. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, she can do melee. Are flying units cracked? They can be good, because they, they do well like, over terrain. Build structure. Structure one. I think we're going to get another mystic projection. We are additionally I think we get an arcanist just to fill out our just to fill our shit out. And st storehouse like you immediately get some more food income. Although we really want a library as well. Yeah. Okay. Step one. Let's destroy these guys. Against babies, we just auto combat. Like I said. Uh, that's good production. It's not occupied. Uh, annexing that will be really nice. And I guess we just end our turn. Simple as. Noble Aegis. I think that's that's just that's just this the same thing but better. I will take the Noble Aegis. Wait, what? Wait, when you equip a better thing, does it disappear? Am I insane? Yo, I think I'm insane. Oh, of course our scout picked it up. Mm -hmm. What is that ugly woman bottom right? <laughs> what is this small creature cage? Sure, let's go. God, this is a slow start. 
It's my bad. Next combat, I'll do. Like, even if the next combat is a joke, I'll do it. It's fine. God, there are there are there are five other rulers. All right, cage me, spirit hawk me. Tier one. Uh, Jason, we have a we have a flying unit. Are you happy? All right, so our scout's gonna deal with that, and I guess we just we, we'll just run off over here. Chaplacer. We really want XP really fast, ideally. New empire skill available. What's this? In 20 combat casting points and, and uh, world map casting points. Yeah, that's like insanely good. In my humble opinion. Yeah, we don't want to use tactical there. Alright. Can you spam elementals? Yes. What if I told you the answer is yes? Oh yeah, we kill all these things. We kill all these freaks. Orders required. Auto explore. These guys are getting built. Storehouse almost done. It will be done next turn. Although I guess I should have stacked up production because we're going to waste some production by not having something ready next, aren't we? Am I crazy? I think we're not crazy. Uh... We want to do the Evocator's Abode. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to build a farm on land that has pasture. It means the Evocator's Abode is boosted. It means it happens faster, I think. We also will add a vendor to the, to the queue because that's very nice. We're going to want a wizard tower as soon as we can, I think. Excess production gets carried over. Oh, I didn't realize. Wizard Tower, we'll get to soon enough. I think we need to improve uh, our Town Hall for that. I don't remember. I don't remember how you get there. Fine, just relax. Spells ready to cast. Summon Phantasm Warrior. Oh shit, dude, we can just instantly get them. I'll just send that bird scouting. Um, is there a way to see like how much they're worth on their own sort of thing? Where is he? Phantasm Warrior. They start ranked up, which is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. New research. Magical wards. It's racism time. Let's go. What are you? Whenever a new research skill is researched, the knowledge cost of another random skill is reduced by 25%. Yes. We're not going to need to be able to traverse water. Oh, shit. Change your contract to serve me. You'll gain a wild speaker. 104 gold for a tier 2 unit. Yes. We're hired by a rich merchant to look after the pastures. Basically, they're like... Bro, we're not paid enough to fight you. A dwarf hammer. 26 damage removes retaliation. Nah, we keep the sword and shield. Mm -hmm. Skellington is 65. You are 80. Get merged. I w like, do you just right click and then you can see? Does anyone know? Like, how you can check the like combat points value of people? without separating them from the group. Armies smerged. We'll, we'll get another Phantasm. It's fine. Go. Oh, shit. C 
Seer Estrella Siphoner of the Free City Ex Exdicolous. Beat you with hostility. Exdicolous will fight for our freedom and stand against anyone who threatens our free city, even when they are led by an empress like you. Don't think our shared racial heritage will curb our convictions. Get inspected. Not really much to say. You have a stupid fucking face, and I'm going to kill you. That's about as uh, that's about as deep as that goes. Check heroes top left. Ah, uh, yeah. One per city, unless you want to pay extra. Catlantis. Oh, Altlandis. That's something else entirely. Um, what do I want to boost production of? Mage's Plaza is boosted by Pop. Stone Conjurer. Stone Conjurer requires two farms. Farm. Um... I always find it hard to pick. There's microtransactions? Not that I'm aware of. There's gonna be DLC. There's gonna be like expansions, but I don't think it has micros. I mean, there's an iron deposit here. And it's not occupied, so we'll get the bonus when we annex. Sure. We've got mine, we've got farm, we'll get Forester next, I guess. Whatevs. You ready? I'm just doing some, uh, I'm just doing some heavy stackage, okay? Auto combat, because look, it's so... Just obviously easy to win that one. Small monster den, that's gonna be good shit. That is insanely worth dealing with. Make outposts pretty much anywhere. We want to outpost when there's something we want to claim that's going to do good for us. Um, how my how my scout boys doing? I didn't accidentally like take a scout here, did I? I did not. Am I crazy? Didn't we have didn't we have two of you guys? I feel like I'm out of my mind. I'm not playing against chat. The the multiplayer is meant to be like played over email with email terms. Like it's slow as hell. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? No. How the, how the fuck do I click this guy? No, 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 no. What are you... What's wrong with you? Just, just go over here. No, like, go over here. It's fine. <laughs> Fucking hell. You move up. And we should be good. Look, when it's this easy, I'll just auto do it. Wind Barrier Ring. 60% harder to hit with ranged attacks. That seems super good. That seems like nasty good. I risk battle against the 190 guy. All right. Atlantis. Oh, we can annex again. We have a mine, we have a farm. I'll quarry. I'll quarry next. What are you? What are you standing on top of? Let's uh let's make our way down here. Making our way downtown. Set production Atlantis. Oh, we're done with that? I mean more mana income is good. 
Town hall would be good when we have the population. I'll just let the shrine go. Oh, what are we looking at like now right now? You're a three piece. Get cast upon. Nice and then turn. He sh this guy should like auto move. No. But I told you to take that path. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You know, I'll just tell them to auto-explore it. Even though auto-explore doesn't work so well when there are mountains, fuck it. You're a joke. Mm -hmm. Delicious sorbet level up. We got access to something funky, right? I mean, experienced leader is good. Ben, watch yourself. I will defend the United States. Let's see, resistance one. Fighting ability. Gives you the ability to zap. That's kind of cool. Base attack buffed when spells are cast. I think we make Sorbet into a tank, like I was saying. We just we just make her go tank mode. Locking and shuffling research skills cost less. Research city structures cost less gold and production to build. Yeah, I'm not really going to be spending my Imperium on much else. Let's go for it. Am I winning, son? Win. Not really at the point where winning winning is a consideration yet. Okay. Just uh, I'm just working on it. Ah, oh, that's a four piece. Yeah, they can they can all they can team up. They can team up. It's no problem. This is going to be a six stack next turn. I can convert household pets into weapons of war. Watch it happen. Wand of healing. There you go. Oh, whoops. Stick that in your pipe. Sorbet has catnip of healing. All right, shrine's almost built. Do I care to make more dudes? You're automatically going. Go ahead and walk over here. Like, then go here. This should be insanely effortless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Demand a portion of their primal power before they leave. Sure. What if I told you mana is good? We have magical wards. Um, staves of warding. Unit enchantment. Bolsters, supports, protection. Star blades, enchanted crow. That could be useful. Potentially. Like, it's probably not going to be. Hmm. Check steam gifts. Bunny! Thank you for the expansion pass. Yeah, I'm I'm really enjoying this. Have I seen this? It better not be King of Limbo. You didn't scare me. It wasn't loud enough. You didn't scare me. You didn't scare me. You know. We're gonna move Sorbet over here. That's a six piece. We are gonna set. Oh. Okay, magical wards ain't ready. Uh shrine will finish next turn. Next turn. Hmm. I'm I'm getting better at being able to like 
talk while playing. Sure, a 76 power scout unit. That that changes everything. That changes everything. Turn. Right. Sure, Bay will just annihilate these effortlessly. Mm-hmm. Frost shield. Melee attackers take four frost damage. No one. What? Yeah, sell the dwarven hammer. Sell the noble ages. Not a problem. We have a shocking amount of gold, I must say. We want to get more production. Um, yeah. The mage's plaza is boosted now. I'm in the red with magic, but it's not that bad, and it's going to get better really fast. We're going to morph our race very soon. Yeah, yeah, show us the provinces. I think making an outpost here and then annexing here is a good move. I think that's a solid move. What are you standing on? An oasis. Okay, we'll do it. Altar of the Ancients? How tough is this? Three skulls seems dangerous. I've seen the Matan Evan thing. I did. Kotaki reported I had a legal counsel on our call today about Hassan. They're talking about my buddy Mikkel, who is making Minecraft spider noises. That's fair. That's reasonable. We can annex another. What do we have? We have we have quarry, farm, and mine. Let's consider boosts. I mean, two farms is good to boost the market. I think I have to forest her. Forest her? I barely know her. And then we'll library. We'll get fast research done, boys. The town hall upgrades might be a good way to go as well. Um, For now, though, we just end the turn. Bunch of food. Clear them out. Simple as. She gets us a bunch of food. Get towered on. The madness of Sindran to lieth. Remember to tip your landlord. That's the important part. That's the important part. A new pawn has entered the playground of lust. Goofy ass looking King Charles. How long can he live? Have you seen that photo of him where he has like the swollen sausage fingers? Big old, big edema hours. Does it no passion? Is it the seductress or the seduced? Soft whispers announced to you the coming of Sinran Talaith. The sublime seducer. Of the Ashborn hedonists. Looks at you with glaring lechery. Or feigned lechery. For he surely trained this act to perfection. Sinran makes a lascivious gesture. Embrace your carnal desires, sorbet! Pleasure is a feast without satiation, and I invite you to take a bite. Let me conquer your heart, sorbet, just as I will conquer your cities. Please resist, it will be all the more alluring. Listen unmoved, a focused mind won't be bothered by the charade. We met hostile Mountward. We ratty bloodletters of Mountward will fight for our freedom and stand against anyone who threatens our free city. Even when they are led by an empress like you, the blood of invaders, thieves, and spies will nourish our fields. So be it. Instant war, by the way. This will get us mana, and then uh, destroying a monster den is normally pretty good. 
normally a pretty good meme. When the fights are this easy, I'm not I'm not gonna do them manually. Doing them manually will just make it take time. Uh, let me peep. Yeah, we have production running. I'm not gonna make any more low tier units. Enchanted crow, sure. Wait, my research though. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, wayfinder. Give scouts very fast movement. The problem is, uh, it increases their upkeep, but that's not too bad. I'll go for the buff spell, whatever. Just buff defense, whatever. Who cares? We'll destroy that mount monster den. Maybe we destroy Mount Word. How tough are you? We're gonna... Bro, we're... Bro! <laughs> I don't think this guy stands much of a chance against us. It's gonna be real. It would help me familiarize for harder fights. You're not wrong at all. You found your first suspect, Sorbet. And it is time to teach you about the Mind Thread spell. As our Shadrai ally Arachni would say, a spider does not openly attack its prey. It finds a way to trap its victim in its webs. Hmm. The Mind Thread spell works in similar ways. It allows you to invade the mind of a god here to learn of their nightmares and trap them within their innermost fears or ambition. This seems like a necessary evil. Once little has ended the vision, you reflect on the situation at hand. Mm -hmm. Five godier dwell in the Crimson Caldera. You can make an uninhabitable underground, but yeah, I think you have to have the underground. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Five godier dwell here. One owns the Gilder Coil, but to find out who, you must have each of them at your mercy. To this end, little taught you the Mind Thread spell, but Brute Force seems just as good an option. Not wrong. Not wrong. Uh, by the way, it's time to transform these cats. They're all crackly now. They crackle now. They crackle now. Uh, mind thread. Oh, you just cast it five times? Curious. Performing the ritual taught to you by Lithol, you recite the incantations of the Mind Thread spell. When darkness falls and shadows creep, a weaver comes to those who sleep. Spin me a thread of dreams and fears, a net that takes me to their tears. Which god here will be the target of your dark intrusion? Get Sinrend? Oh, damn! You get tons of quests. One whose heart is cold will be defenseless when it is suddenly ignited. Lithal shows an empty flask. The weakness of Sinran is his own perfidious game, in which he feeds on the love of his victims for personal pleasure. Turn the tables and he will be yours. To brew a love potion strong enough to enchant Sinran, you must obtain Silver Tongue and Astral Dew. I mean, there's Archon blood. Whatevs, brother. Whatevs. Wait, how cost 60? Okay, just chill. We'll do it next turn. Um, for now though, let's get this monster den because the loot could be good. Mm -hmm. Chest plate of vitality. Fuck yes. Big defense. Yeah, also. You leveled up. Um... I think we're going all in on defense. Which means we get resistance. Mm -hmm. Who the hell are you? Where do you come from? The I didn't mean to separate them. That was a that was an oopsie on my part. Yeah, we'll annex that. 
Oh, it tells you where the quest stuff is. Astral do. Magical material. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get the Astral Dew next turn. Not next turn, but, you know, like, close. Atlantis can annex another place. And I guess we could farm. It's always good to get more gold, though, as well. Hmm. Tough to choose. Tough to choose. Boosted Arcane Institute. More knowledge. We want big books. I mean, another quarry would be based, but let me just peep this. Get another forester at the granary. Why not? Holy shit. It's kind of rough. You know what? Let's, um... Let's get a tavern after our mages plaza just because our stability is not fantastic. Yeah, lowered income. I don't like that. What if I told you I like having the highest income possible at all times? Would that surprise you? All right, just go. Right. We skillful Talpids will fight for our freedom and stand against anyone who threatens our free city. But so be it. Think you're being paranoid, bro? I'm not going to kill you. It's fine. I'm not going to kill literally everyone on the map. That would never happen. Alright, Mind Thread is ready. I went to target. Oh, I wasted it. Made a mistake. Banish them to the astral sea. Lose 99 mana? Not a fucking chance. Uh, you're a joke. Get destroyed. Losing two guys. What if I told you that's actually fine? I push with 50 gold. Pull up. Come over here, you go there. Gonna be fine. We got a Mage's Plaza. Mage Plaza is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get the shield unit and we get a soother. Interesting that depending on whether you're a champion or a mage guy, you get your um you get like your battle mage and your shield unit at different times. Curious. Getting the tavern seems like a good idea to me. We can let everything chill for now. And turn. Where's the other thing we want? Oh, by annexation we'll get it. Also, there's a there's a monster there. What if I told you I don't I don't mind going after that monster then? I feel good about that. It's a culture thing? Oh, okay. Magic shield. Research. Binding weapons. Gives us channeling tower. That's going to be nice. And a battle mage unit that does chain lightning. Yes. Or we'll select this. Feels good Just to me. Just as you may effectively utilize the protective potential of magic. It follows that uh, you can employ it in a more devastating fashion. 
in order to visit harm. Zap people super hard? That seems good. I've I've always enjoyed a good zap. Uh Altlandis, you're going fine. You have a queue going. You know what? We'll attract population, why not? After all, why not? Why not attract population? You want two quarry? What the hell is that? Build a hut? That seems terrible. Two quarries. Will give us a boost on... Uh, what was the thing I wanted? Sure, mana obelisk boost. Shaoling towers do be cool. Maybe later. Maybe later we get the Chowling Tower. Uh, is this a new turn yet? No. My outpost annex yet? Yo, a research post could be sick. And it gets us pastures. Yeah, you know what? I like this. We'll we'll kill the thing occupying the thing we need. And then we'll destroy the monster den. Uh, do you want more mana or faster research? You need a research post for a certain thing. Yeah, a constant threat of attack until it's until it's cleared. That's fine. Ah, uh, you're not too tough for us, are you? Yeah, safe battle. It's fine. Trust me when I say it's fine. To brew a potion with the materials you collect. You brew, brew a potion with the materials you collected. Mm-hmm. Soon after, the result presents himself to you. Oh, so obey. Sindran throws you a languishing look. Oh, no. We're doing furry seduction. You are surely the most stunning of all empresses. Who could betray a heart that beats within a chest as sublime as yours? I regret I do not have the Gilder Coil to gift. Or do I know who has it? But I will serve you... I will serve you, serve you, for eternity, for I could not bear even a hint of your disapproval. Disapproval? It is clear that Sinren is desperately in love with you. What will you do with this fool? Gain a Scald unit. Make him a hero. I mean, getting another hero is always good, right? Why did it zoom me over there? The heck? Also, where is this guy? Where is he? People presence, I'm aware. Oh, he leveled up a bunch. Um, holy shit. Assassin. Slight chance of instantly killing an injured target. Summon elemental seems super good. Maybe I'm just crazy. Okay. Fence. Experienced leader, maybe? Oh, you have to do it one at a time? I'm so confused. What am I doing? Make, make him better. Uh, more damage. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. Sent. Better retaliation. Okay, I think I fucked that all up. But you know what? What if I told you that's fine? The Executioner. You can use a Lightning Morb? Can Sorbet? Hang on. Oh no, Sindran appeared at my house. That sound... Okay, he, he appeared at our throne. 
Um, so... Let's do Soother, Spell Shield. Spell Shield, Soother. Okay, that's a lot of gold burnt, but just relax. Uh, there are units that evolve. I can't tell you off the top of my head which they are, but I'm aware it's a thing. So let's just fill out our unit. Um, yeah, I shall do new empire development. Ooh. Instantly gain a thousand mana for 150 Imperium. I fucking think I will. If that's all right. Seems good to me. I uh, wish to deal with mind thread. I found another guy, didn't I? Sure, yeah, abort the spell. Um, he's gonna gradually get dudes on his side, and then he can come down here. You know what? All seems all seems gravy. All seems gravy. I'll just summon phantasm. It's fine. Outpost founded. Do I want to keep this place? What does this do for me? When annexed. Plus 10 mana, plus 10 research, plus 20 world map casting points. You know what? That's actually really good. All right. What is required? You really require orders, though? I don't think you do. And I already did the annexation that enables. Yeah. And turn. Draconians. It's weird for an expansion to have a race when the race... So the unique race thing does become weird when you don't have... Um... Okay, you know what? Let's go here. And uh, just relax. Chill for a while. The, the freedom to mix and match makes a race being DLC really weird. Because it just means it's a skill, right? Blinding Torrent seems sick. You? You just sit here and stack, brother. You just sit here, too. Sit here for a sec. Um, summon Phantasm. Yes. Yes. Relax. We're gonna destroy that monster den and then our uh, our shit will be safe. Well, we wanna come over here and, and threaten them a bit more. They're in friendly territory, so I mean, I mean, waiting a bit will be good. You wait, you wait. Get those heals. Can we annex more yet? No. We lack the population. The tavern will help us with our stability, which is a bit scuffed. Our gold will fill up slowly. I feel like we've hit a we've hit a slow patch. We seem healthy enough. 1,035 versus 200 auto combat that shit. Not a problem. Fire Wyvern Mount and Unicorn. Tier 2. Mount. Forge taken. Okay, we're safe there. 
I don't think I want to turn that into a city. I don't think I do. Let me look at what's available around this thing. Better research. It's not... Uh... We will found a city there, actually. I take it back. I take it all back. Go check out this ex ticklis place. You have five out of six. Get filled up to six. Very nice. I guess I could fill him up with magic boards as well. But I don't think I want to. Also, where the fuck are my scouts? What are you doing? Okay. So confirmed on mountain levels, your scouts don't know what the fuck they're doing. Just, just FYI, auto scout doesn't work on mountain levels. Pro tip. Pro tip. Hey, after a hard day slaving away, they've earned it. That doesn't trigger them talking to us? Are you just a free city? Oh, you're just a free city, okay. Um. Bro, prepare to get vassalized. <laughs> uh, we got plenty of gold income. Yeah, let's get uh, blacksmith shit going. Wizard tower. Jason, this wizard tower is for you. Wait, and I need to pick what to annex next. Um, I mean, another quarry could be cool. We're low on gold, so you know what we actually do? We do huge gold up. We do big gold up. Alright, Exticulus has sent a war party to raid our domain. Oh shit, son. Guess I need to pump our uh, pump our units even faster then. Absolute dingus. Dingle breath. Enter. See you, bunny. Take it easy. Have a good, uh, have a good chill. No headaches, no back pain. It's ought to be good. This is the war party they sent. And turn. And turn. They went berserk and attacked each other. Ah. I forgot that was a problem. That's a modifier on this. My armies are just going to destroy themselves. Jesus Christ. I messed up. I admit I messed up, okay. Yeah, being pinned is fine. Small, small amounts of damage. You're berserk, so you couldn't do anything. All right, just relax. 30% chance to hit, let's see. Oh, big miss. Your 
berserk, so you can do anything. Sorbet's berserk and almost killed all her friends. Love to see it. Okay. Now run in. The reason I tend to do the auto battle stuff is because it takes forever. Like, even if it's an easy fight. Stop. I fucking hate this modifier that makes your army just kill itself. Oh. Yep, we, we lost a unit to our own guys. Um... I forgot about the Berserk shit, otherwise I would have run them in earlier, so that we didn't run into this problem. Oh, my life. Mm-hmm. Fifty percent chance to hit. like an, another underground. Bro. Come on, coin flips. Coin flips, ahoy. Big coin flips. Um, I don't have any healing, do I? I need to make Sorbet invulnerable or our own troops will kill us. Alright, we're good. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I can fix the unit numbers like that, but the actual health is, is pretty bad still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need a hero to start a siege. You do it. No, show me your, show me your stats. On twenty-five versus four of four, we produce the soother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll level up. Go experience leader. We're gonna get like new guys. New Empire dev available. Gain knowledge whenever a unit gains a rank. That could be really good. The Whispering Stone is useless because we can't use them. Uh, because this is endless war no matter what mode. Fortunato Siphoner has been captured. You know what? No. You have a city yet? No, this will become a city soon. It's fine. Two into a breach. to reaching your maximum number of cities. Acquiring more mm. cities than your maximum will result in major economic penalties. I'm aware. 25% income income rot. Er. Tract population, please. Get you some uh get you some faster research, brother. Get you a vendor. 
probably want to be able to defend this place. You know what? Probably want to be able to defend this place. How tough are you? 432, you get over here to defend. Good boy. Wizard Tower Foundation complete. Tower Crypts. Heroes ground away prison cells. He's not straight dead, is he? Wait, the guy we captured, he's not dead. Yeah? He's in the prison. You know what? I believe the prison is our future. Capturing heroes seems like a good move. We've got another turn until we can actually um, attack them. Yeah, Astral Dew, Sage Haven. Fine. Feels good. He is 100% trapped in Gay Baby Jail. There is no escape. I could. Where's my guy? Sometimes I find it hard to keep track of my units. There he is. Uh, let's not summon a Phantasm Warrior on him. Alright, let's just chill. Ooh. Fricka Denosis. Fricka Denosis. Blessed be this day, Oster Bay, on which we meet my heroic savior. The gleeful miscreants call me their queen of mockery, but I am not. They hold me captive and dress me up as their ruler out of delusion or mockery. Each day I must watch their vicious ploys and enjoy the pain of their victims. Please obey, drive back the gleeful miscreants, and free me from their throne of thorns. What are that meets the eye? Um, yeah, I don't believe that at all. Astral Rift? Gold Spawner. That seems really bad. Right, I'm going to thread her. Oh my, oh my. Is there a new mom being made? Even for Gaudia, this mind is amazing not easily navigated. She dwells in corruption and trickery. Anything she speaks seems to be lies, yet there's one ironic truth in her stage to flee from. Fricka is not the captive of the miscreants, but she lost her soul to the demonic prince at Tingwe. Must by contract and bide by his will. How will this help us? What the hell? That is a cursed fucking cat. It needs to be put down. What's on this? Despite what Fox News wants you to believe, being afraid of an unarmed person is not a reason to kill them. Um, Having a reasonable fear for your life? is wait would she say it would be unjustified for that guy to kill the guy who choked him out if that was the only way to prevent him from being choked out isn't the isn't the justification for defending yourself with with potentially lethal force like a reasonable fear for your life it doesn't matter if they're unarmed we actually had a problem in the UK where people were killing each other with, with like, sucker punches. There was a campaign that was like, one punch can kill. A contract with the Princes of Obidoth can't be broken, but it can be altered. If a Tingwe signs over Fricka's debt, she'll be at your mercy. A Tingwe himself has no holdings in the Crimson Caldera, but there are ways of making yourself heard. Destroy the ritual circles far to the southwest. All right, her schemes are about to get fucked. No problem. Uh, wait, are we good to roll? We're not good to roll yet, but we will be. Not a problem. Probably want to end turn any second now, essentially. Uh, I wonder if we'll get a... Yeah, we're just going to vassalize that place, I guess. This place is making a vendor very, very slowly, but at least it has the research post, which is nice. 
Oh. Yeah, assign Sinran as the uh, governor, obviously. Get some bonus stuff. Be gone, foul spawn of Obadoth. A righteous shout pierces the skies as Meshire, the radiant descent from above with the holy fury. Your dark disguises cannot fool my true sight, for your inner demons have betrayed your purpose. The crimson caldera is an ever flowing chalice of violence death. I'll drink from it. Lay down your weapon and find peace in the afterlife. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found another god here. Storm Spirit is tier one. Scroll. I don't like any of these very much, but all of them, I'll take that one. You can do it now, right? Yes. Simple as. Battle won by Sorbet. I want to say we vassalize this shit. And now that it's friendly, Sorbet can regain her health here, which is nice. Not a problem. A man here requires orders. You're going to get over here and uh, essentially defend it because I'm scared. You're in the crypt. I'll sell your remains. Yeah, get out of here, loser. Mana's going up. Gold's going up. I don't feel too bad about any of this. That's all being crafted. Like, our, our resources, like production and... Uh, not rally. But you, you know what I mean. The, the stuff you use to get uh, get troops seems kind of scuffed. Is it rally? Maybe it is rally. What the hell? Fanfare of a thousand hammers hitting a demon cat? Kir Uranon, demonic prince of the forge. Welcome Sorbet to a world of reclamation. Where even the most loathsome soul receives its purpose. Work in the crucible. Fuel the fires of Dominus are proved worthy to augment my machines and weaponry with your life force. Either way, you're a valuable resource to me. This hammer owes its power to the soul of a storm giant dwelling inside. Which of my artifacts will yours inhabit, Sorbet? I will be your executioner's sword? Don't say that. Are you crazy? Yeah, we're healing real slow. But we are on friendly land. Like we should be we should be regening pretty fast on friendly land, right? That's how it works. I think that's how it works. Um yeah, because it's only on the level one trash that do be scuffed. Probably gonna have to send dudes down from there. We've met four out of five god here. Mind threat. Mind threat. Be care. Invade his memory. We got mana. Admire your ambitions. Little Night Weaver takes out the horn of a bull and salute, covers it in dark astral But it seems that ages of competition and betrayal have taught the princes of Ormond to protect the lines. Twitches at a web. When a foe can't be trapped, it must be overwhelmed. I'll take your gift. An ethereal army. What the fuck? I win? Bro, I, I simply... I... I... What? I simply am the winner? What are you doing on health? Yeah, all well, you guys just chill. 
Mm-hmm. So complete. Mountward sent a war party. Really? Oh, that might be a problem. If, like, another stack shows up. We have to do this manually. I don't feel crazy good about this charge strike. Hey, okay, relax. We will run up on him. I should have kept the soother back a bit. That was, in fact, a mistake. Let me check. Cosmic Ablation. Target unit gets absolutely fucked. No, 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 no. You hit all of them. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. My G will be running up. You run up. Go over here. Target cannot be. Whatever, bro. 60% chance. Go for it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know if we're making this over channel. Do it. Spells. Go ahead and hit. What's the deal with the cactusy anyway? Sharp. Oh, they willingly ended there? They're gonna bleed. <sighs> Promo strike is good. I don't like that. I wish that hadn't occurred. Right, enter. Hollow life, like legit fighting game? That could be good. <sighs> Oof. Wait, that didn't do much. You suck. The critical flying cursey. Yeesh. Yeesh, stop! How many fucking shots do they have? Oh, my guys went berserk? Of course they did. Like, just fucking of course they did? You can inflict stunned on attackers. And do a bunch of lightning damage. Go here. Finish them off. Kill them. Summon an elemental. I forgot he had that ability. They are now wet. They are now wet. Um, let's go for cosmic ablation. Using a bunch of mana, but we have we have more than enough mana, bro. Trust. How do you make them turn? A rotating tape. They're dead. 
they're so fucking dead, it's not even funny. Yeah, you're dead. Oof. Yeah, hit my elemental. See if I care. All criticals all the time? Jesus Christ. Okay, my guy here. My guy here can charge strike. Let's, uh... Cosmically ablate you. Wettest man I've seen in my life. Oh, maybe we'll kill you. Nice. Wait, does that mean it's guaranteed if it says that? I mean, there's the chance of it failing or something, right? Get over here. Kill them. Love to see it. We're all used up. Let's go. Oh, he tried to move. Where are you going? How dare you? No longer berserk. What is this? Tidal waves. Drenching phase. You can TP next to the Coronation Nudification. Gotta admit, that's a new one for me. 20% chance of hitting? Are you serious? Shoot the elemental. All good. Oh, and now Tide Spirit can whack. Oh, because it only used up one of his shit. Yeah, get over here. Finish him. Magic seems very strong, which isn't surprising in this game that sort of like, you know, is heavily focused around magic. You know what? It's not, not exactly shocking. Phantasm Warriors, you know, they're not that great, but they do the job, I would say. Deal with you. 407 versus versus 402. Chill. I'll start the siege. Siege products. Harass the defenders. We got our lightning blade with like research. Let's get our hands on the evokers, which we can then make anywhere. The uh, the being able to make them anywhere thing is, is a big deal. Make no mistake. I think we can move out. Ah, one more turn. Let's catch these guys up. You guys, just wait. You guys, wait. Remains of Lima Meat Grinder. Sell you for cash. I love selling the dead for cash. What's the deal with my mana anyway? 198 unit upkeep. Why is my unit upkeep minus... Wait a second. Do you guys have magical upkeep? Oh no. Oh no, it's eight mana upkeep for what per one of those guys? I didn't even think of it. Oh sh Sheldon. Well, 
let's uh we'll get the library and let's let's increase our mana income. Yeah, we need to uh Ooh. Got that. A mana node. Yes. Ah, uh, let's get going then. Let's uh, let's liberate that mana node. Yikes. Bro. Let me just check auto That's very bad. Oh yeah, I can build conduits. We specced into that right at the start. Watch this. This is the real strategy. We do not stand a fucking chance against these guys. Excuse me. A flickering flame taunts your eyes as Carissa the Red descends from a pole of scarlet icor. Some say the blood of men will be an aphrodisiac. If you're into that, it would be. She says with a malicious smile. I say it's a source of power. I drink while my enthralled orcs consume flesh and bones. That's a fair share, don't you think? The bloodshed of the battlefield is only the appetizer. Cannibalism. That's gross. Traces of the Gilder Coil after me. While you ponder your strategies for this war with many fronts, your scouts are returning now from different regions of the Crimson Caldera. They speak of demonic encounters, vicious monsters, and rampant warbands roaming the land. Mad testaments to the rulers long fallen who came to the Crimson Caldera in search of the Gilded Coil's power. As Empress, you may claim any of the treasures your scouts have brought back from their journeys. Mani? I will take Mani? Where's my, where's, like, where's my guy, though? When you run away, do you die? Oh, if you run away, you, like, fucking die? I don't understand. Used. Although not dazed. Ooh. Bro. Yes. We outpost here. That gets us the mana node. And then we can annex the, uh, the research post as well. Safe battle. Conscript them as laborers. Yes. Should finish stuff. Very good. I like that. Improve wizard mode could be good. Boosting requires 10 pop. It's just wizard tower. We want something that will make people happy as well. Yeah, we can... Bathhouse afterwards. Hopefully that'll, uh, that'll all balance out. How are we doing here? We can annex. Okay, um... I mean, like, 
like you ought to. You always go for farms first, right? Pretty much. Is Sobe declawed? No. Declawing is, uh, is a horrible thing to do to an animal. Call me crazy. Evoker available. I'm with scrying. Cognition. Mental mark scrying to be guided projectile summon watcher, which is a tier 3 unit. Under app. Resonance fields, mana, and casting points. I think we go for this just to get our hands on uh, the Watcher spell. Awaken your mind's eye to gaze beyond. Fucking the summon Watcher, let's go. We have Evokers available, which is pretty nifty in my humble opinion. But you're done. Oh, we just scooped 45 knowledge? Okay, we'll take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're building an outpost here and we'll build a uh, work camp so we can annex one land. Did I send these guys moving? No, I haven't sent these guys moving yet. You will. Not a problem. Mountward? I'm going to be real with you. Mountward kind of pisses me off. Oh god, it's so slow. And that's completely stopped. Mm. Tim is drunk. I'm not mumbling! I'm, I'm, I'm speaking quietly because I'm scared that the enemies will hear me. Okay. I'm scared the enemies will hear me. I don't really want to rely on those summon guys too much longer. It's a bit annoying. Immediately summon an army of magic origin units with low maintenance at Throne City. Go for it. Excuse me, sir. You said low maintenance? Shield alignment changed to good. Damn, son, I'll take it. Zero draft because of the thing we did. These guys could move. Well, we'll need to move. Is that not no melody? I, I, I'm, what I'm saying is, is that low? That's a lot of maintenance being spent per turn, bro. fast as I can, essentially. 100 gold. I would like more mana, please. I guess I could just, like, tell this place. Okay, you, you guys go over here. Let's get the, like, mana recovery. That's only 10 mana, though. Sass. Oh, man. What am I doing? Negative 135. Arcane Institute. How fast does it take for me to build the uh, channeling tower? I'll replace a mine. It's five fucking turns. Hmm. Watch this. Is 
that didn't help all that much. Destroy two of these. The sounds they're making are very weird and unsettling. Not a big fan of it. <clears throat> Orders required, you say? I disagree. I think we can just leave it. And, yeah, and turn. Why not? Why not? Okay, we are now absolutely snurged. Make a work camp, please. All good. Come stack on my boy. Excuse me? No! No! <laughs> Alright, 623. We roll up. We roll up. Outpost founded. Our gold is fine. Our mana is not fine. Yeah, I went for the, like, early rush start. Um, it didn't. Sir? Yeah. Shit. I disbanded half my army so that we wouldn't run out of magical power, the lifeblood of our nation. Just saying. Run. Yes. Wait, what's their uh, what's their power like? That'll be easy. One turn left. We're not going to make it. It's going to it's going to pop. Kill it. A little bit of death is fine. Ah. Oh, you have to fucking repair it, you motherfuckers. Okay, we can summon a watcher. They're probably very expensive though, right? Lightning focus. There's a tower of true sight. Spot invisible dudes. Because every time in this life when you think to yourself, I do this no more, even happiness is torture for pain followers like Shep. I take my own hand on quiet deer trail and let forest make use of me. Jesus. I actually struggle a lot with suicidal ideation. It's just a it's just a problem I've had throughout my life. Um these guys. Oh, I can't leave my stack. Okay, relax. Lads here. We want higher production. 
mature and more production. It's fine. Relax. Empire Dev, what are you? Throne City grants 50 knowledge reach magic material their Empire has access to. Okay, yeah. Like, the thinking about it is in its problem. It is in and of itself like a, a struggle. You gotta, you gotta work on living with it. Mm -hmm. Or ideally getting rid of it, but um, sometimes getting rid of it isn't possible. Are they gonna attack us from behind? They fucking are. Holy... I don't think I stand a chance. Mm -hmm. Well, they can only attack us with three at a time, so... This is an absolute loss. Alright, let me do a poll. Next game. We do more of this. We do Hitman Roguelite mode. We do Wild Frost. We could do uh, Bendy and the Dark Revival. Or Vergante could be cool. I'll give you three minutes and I'll leave you with this combat music. I'll be back very shortly. See you soon.
I return. My voice sounded weird. What we got? Bendy and the Dark Revival. Well, lads. I'll have to. It looks like I'll have to revolve. <laughs> revolve. I'll have to uh, resolve this battle off stream tonight and uh, miraculously <laughs> somehow not get my shit wrecked. I feel like because I stacked all my good guys there, having them die in that fight is very bad. Like, I think, I think that mission is... I think that mission is done. I don't know if I can come back from that. But I don't really understand how these games work in terms of being able to come back from stuff. I haven't really experienced it yet. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. This game looks really nice. And in the Dark Revival looks really nice. Uh, Vaganti does have meta regression. Fuck my stupid dragon ad. It's the it's the greatest ad of all time. Yo, if if th if if three more people download it and hit level five, I get a bunch of money. That's why you need to see it. <laughs> simple, simple eyes, simple eyes. Burner is Age of Wandering. I saw some. Um, I don't think it's Funko. Hmm. I there's some like vinyl figure company that does a really nice like set of bendy figurines. I've never played any of their games or seen anything to do with it, but the the figurines look good. Give me my mouse back. Whoops. My bad. What am I saying? You mean about the Bendy stuff? I don't I don't know anything about Bendy. It's kinda of quiet now. Now it's not. It should be full volume. I've also realized like I start whispering. If I put my headphones on all the way, <laughs> I like start whispering. Because the headphones make it seem like I'm louder than I am. To me. So I always have them like slightly off my ears when I'm streaming. Should I turn it down a bit? High Whoa. graphics. Bitstar. Thank you for the one month one month sub? No, tier one sub for 16 months. You can get the first one to run of Bendy. Is it is it scuffed? Is it a bit scuffed? Wait, this is a shill game? I'm new to the studio. I don't even know what it's referring to. Is it? Does this occur in a studio? Thank you, Bistar. I appreciate it. Joey Drew Studios We're presents. Free to choose. Are we though? To believe what we want to believe. I don't think you choose what you believe. But when you step back, when you really look at where you've been and the things you've done. I never heard the controversy, no. Never heard anything about it, just seen like just seen like vinyl figures and seen the game on speed. To devour you. To devour you. I almost flicked my screen because I thought the loading the loading icon was a fly. <laughs> Out of the corner of my eye. June 18th, 1973. Vicky Baus and the Bamber of Beakrits. Your lucky bee's steaming her buns there for me. You go, little guy. And only 800 more frames to go. 
No way I'm getting through tonight without some coffee. Probably some downstairs. Uh, Disney, they need to be stopped. Time for a little adventure. A little adventure. Please, I wish to go on a little adventure. Trump. Now watch it be way too high. Okay. Why is the sensitivity so fucked in every fucking game? Are you swaying? Smooth camera. It's the smooth camera. Smooth camera fucks everything. Some games some games put this shit in and you can't turn it off. Hello? Hello? Cold dranks. Cola. Seven new spritz. Empty. Groot beer. Realistic surprise finger physics. She's an angel and a demon. Nathan Arch. Oh shit. Hmm. Looks like a Skull Girls character. My humble opinion. We open these. Really? They locked me in. Good well, that happened. Key today. She doesn't. I don't know. Lucky Bee was like. She was saying it was weird that I keep the house keys in my pocket all the time. And in every video game, they always leave their keys somewhere. Am I weird for carrying any keys I have with me at all times? You gotta keep them in the quest slot in your inventory. Who put this here? Bendy. The demon. Oh, is, is he a demon? Here's the key. That is a large key. I don't sleep with my key. I well, I do sleep with my keys in my pocket, but I don't sleep with my pocket on me. My pants are off, but the keys are in my pant pocket. Mm -hmm. Zap carry. The most welcoming hallway I've ever seen. Wait, but you work here. Why would you say that? You know this hallway. You had to walk in here to get to your to get to your office. Hello? Is someone there? I prefer the term summon elevator. Nah, shoes and doors is cringe. Cock ring with keys. Now that could lead to injuries. I wouldn't recommend it. Audrey. Wilson? <sighs> you scared me to death. I'm sorry, my dear. Didn't mean to frighten you. You're working late tonight. A pretty girl like you shouldn't be wandering around all by yourself. Mind if I step in? Uh, of course not. Thank you, Audrey. Audrey. You look like you could use a little... It's not right now. Not for another ten years, at least. Poor guy. 
So, you've been smoking it's been that loud. really nice this past week. Just beautiful. Yeah, slippers is fine. I wouldn't wear slippers, but slippers Gorgeous. are fine. But there are people who never who wear trainers and never. What was take that? Them. Please tell me we're not trapped in here. Don't you worry, my dear. It's just a little short in this system. Happening a lot this past few days. No need to fret. I want a pair of those, like, uh, Let's see what we can find. wrapping moccasins. Come along you know the now. shoes where it has a sole, but then the top of it is just a wrap you, you wrap over? Flash, flashlight, bro. Ah, the flashlight covered. Oh, never mind. The light covered. Ah, there we are. Just a few more switches. <laughs> Moccasins, the rape. Day five, Follow raping a minute. It will Follow be me. perfectly semi free. Safe. safe. Very rapture build. Even the, uh, even the, like, overlay. Joey Drew, founder of the studio, the man who created Bendy. Just a pencil and a dream. Xbox controller. Silly vision. What's going on with you? Booby? Dancing Demon. Lord of the Dance. Open. Dunk. Wow, genius analysis bit star fox. <laughs> Incredible eye for parallels. Where did you get the idea that this could be this character could be like Mickey Mouse? Looks like someone's been messing with the exhibits. There should be something on each of these pedestals. Mm. Audrey. Sweet Audrey. Do an old man a favor and go find them. I'll tend to the power. One-eyed Tim is just what I call my penis. Do not fall. I'm armed. That was simple enough. What do, do, do these have like, uh, are these items chipped? Or do I just, could I just put heavy stuff on each of them? I'm not gonna memorize what we have to find. I'll just pick them up as we see them. Presumably, they will be highlighted. Simple enough. Simple. Yep, that seems like one of them. Howdy ho! That's not how banjos work. Where's the drone string? Oh no, it does. Oh, it kind of has two drone strings. Because it's all fucked up, whatever. Hmm. 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 You're a thing. Nice ink. Is the first one Bendy and the Ink Machine? Yeah, the irony is that horror Disney is less horrifying than real Disney. Right. Well, that doesn't seem too good. I'm sure, it's just red paint. Bendy and the ass water. So, what's the controversy over this game? Involving, I'm guessing, people promoting it and not disclosing or something, because someone said it's a shill game. I think Oatmeal said it was a shill game. The illusion of living. Mm. Let's 
excuse me. I'll take it. Very good. I lack cog. I am cogless. You, Zach? Bendy. Hmm. Hey, old man, you got some cog for me? I need your cog. Right now. Just whip your cog out. You were a cog. Whip. Ah, emergency cog storage. Doesn't feel like it should be stored there. Kind of weird. This better not be uh, a hint, a, a sign of things to come. Is it going to be collect six items over and over again? Only one thing left to do. Pull that switch. Pull my finger. It is done. Wilson? Oh, Audrey. The things you've set in motion. What's happening? The ink is calling us, my dear. Can't you hear it? What? Shh. Don't fret. I mean, he could have done this on his own. It's pretty easy. Stay back. Wait for the room to slowly fill, or can we dip? The truth. This can't be real. Nah. nah, the only way way to tell if someone something's true is to write it on Twitter, and if you don't get you facts doing? checked, it means it's true. Oh, no. No. We dipped. I knew we had to do a dipperoni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese is a terrible name. It makes me think of the pasta with like a lump of cheese. He's not a bad guy. He's bringing us to uh, Inkland. That's true. Huel does do mac and cheese. Kabuto noodles have a mac and cheese as well, and a sriracha mac and cheese. What's wrong with my hands? Inked.com. Ink again. Oh, Nothing's wrong. What's happened to you? She said the thing the guy said. Yeah, this is pretty. Wilson knows your purpose. My purposey? Oh, hello. Every great story begins in mystery. Although things may be dark at the start, the truth will illuminate your way. Don't be afraid of who you are. Fear only what you may become, and banish it away. Your best pal. This is a nice looking game, in my humble opinion. Although, I feel like this style has been somewhat tainted by Borderlands. Alright. Bro, you can just... No. I'm in, like, terrible physical shape, and I could climb that. I could just skip those two bits. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Shut up. I 
I think it looks better than Borderlands. Overall. Oh. Simple enough. Stop. There are always crying people in these games. I wonder what a cell shaded hamburger tastes like. Wait, if you become cell shaded and you eat a cell shaded thing, does it just taste like a normal thing? I'm so cell shaded that a cell shaded hamburger is just a normal hamburger to me. Jeez, you'd think I was drowning kittens the way these people are looking at me. Never seen such disappointment in a person's eyes. But this is the way of things. If management can't pay their bills, then the bank takes the goodies back. Still, it does break me a bit knowing how much I loved them old cartoons this place used to make. But well, times change, life moves on. Telly Wester. Proceed to Crooch. Let me guess, I can climb inside of this. Of the this is yep, there we go. Your friend, your protector. For 211 days, you've lived without the ink demon haunting your steps. Not bad. I banished him away, tore his body in two. In return, I ask just a little favor. Among you, there is a stranger, Longus? a young lady. Bring her to me. Oh, shit. Dude, why didn't you just kidnap and, like, rape and murder us? It would have been so much easier and simpler than bringing me to the Ink Realm and then doing it. Jack and I have been wondering if you could meet with us, considering the current situation. We've been with you for many years, and we feel we have contributed to the success of Bendy in the past. Our interest is purely in keeping this company strong. We just want to help however we can. Let's talk. Samuel Lawrence. Do, 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 do. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. Ah, gotcha. Oh, babe. Thank you. Oh, I went has the little colored bit on top. Thank you very much. I'm sure it will be. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. It's perfect. Thank you. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Is that a challenge? Chat, chat says hello. Alright. Here's what we got. We got two things. We got a we got a chili chili beef giant bao bun, and we have an Oreo. But this Oreo can't see it too well, probably because of the green screen. This is a grape grape and peach Oreo. The 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 frosting stuff in the middle of the Oreo is split in half. It's green and pink. It is grape. It is, it is grape and peach from China. Chinese Oreo. She warned me not to bite it, but look at that wrinkly ass. How could I not bite it? Okay. It feels good. Hmm. Tastes good to me. Tastes good to me. Hmm. 
a show pout. I'm not going to lick the brown out like it's a butt crack. It's very strong and beefy. Very good beefy flavor. I feel like I can start to feel the chili kick. Hmm. I'm... A pork bun kind of is an uncrustable. Wait, are, are buns... Are buns like this like uncrustables or are they the opposite? Are they the opposite? Because it's kind of all crust, in a sense. Hmm. The beef's really good. It's like, um... It's sort of like having a steak pie. I've never had one of these with an egg. <laughs> Lucky Beetle needed one pound. What the fuck? Suck my toes, streamer slave. Tim, you the ass to lick tonight. Keep that, keep that off stream, babe. Keep that off stream, all right? Yep. Welcome to the beef hole. And I think it won't be too spicy for her. It's not that spicy. At all. Mmm. Steak and kidney bow? Or steak and ale bow? Mmm. Bro. Steak and ale bembo. Getting a little bit of the chili heat. There's some... They're not huge chunks of beef, but they're decent. Like... You see that? That's like a big chunk of beef. Chicken egg. What am I eating? Lucky Bee steamed me up. A chili and soy beef bao, bao bun. A giant bao bun. A steak? What do you mean? No, not a snake. Hmm. This is really nice. Um... Ashrod, I thought your grandma was Chinese and you've never had a bow bun. Hmm. Hmm. The steamed dough is kind of the best part. Always. Bow consumed. I'm going to message her and say really good thing. Is it sweet? No, it's definitely very savory. The, the bun is just like... I mean, it's sweet in the sense that it's, you know... Like starch. Not star I mean, it's like it's carbohydrate, so it like breaks down into sugar. But on its own, it's a pretty neutral flavored bun. It's just like bready, bready flavored. But it's very soft and squishy. All right. I'm going to try and open this without ripping the frosting apart. Okay. Ah! You cannot see at all. Hold on. Let me turn, let me turn the filter off. Can you see that it's, it's green and pink? The pink side is peach. The green side is grape. Ooh. 
it's it's really sour as well it's like sour grape oreo and it's real oh yo the oreo has chinese character on it rare I kind of am green and pink. I was going to say fuck you, but I am. I can't deny it. It's actually really good. I thought it wouldn't go with the chocolate cookie, but it does. Sour grape and peach goes with chocolate Oreo cookie. That's just the energy I need to escape the ink factory without getting molested. Hmm. Milk is for children. It's not sweet working with sour, it's chocolate working with sour. There's no way I can make it down there. I'll make it up here, right? Oh, I thought it would push me back. The ink drips. Darkness has spread through this studio. The reaching shadows creep around you. Something hungers for your corrupted flesh. It is close, so very close. The only time to drink milk is in Swiss Miss. It strange to grab you, choke you from behind. You'll feel his breath upon your neck. It is close. Picked up a meme. I know it says memo. Okay. I used to be... I used to have to be very careful about getting, like... If there was a container of stuff, I'd eat the whole container in one sitting pretty much always. But I've got much better self-control now. Damn. Send in the clowns. Uh, I'll occasionally put milk in tea, but mostly I take my tea black. It's just a bunch of cornstarch. We can make YouTube videos tasting it. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll try. I'll try and fake a reaction out, right? Next time there's a jump scare, you've got it. You've got it. Collected Gent battery, Gent battery, Gwent battery. I got bored of The Witcher 3. I couldn't bring myself to play very much of it on stream. I need to get some. I should have gotten squid ink 
and like pumped that bow bun full of squid ink so when I bit into it, ink would like run out of my mouth and I'd be like, oh, Bendy, Bendy, he's in my mouth, he's in my mouth, he squirted, ah. Right. Based level sevener. We need level fives and we need level sevens and we need people to join alliances. Let's fucking go. Timmy needs a new pair of shoes. Oh, that doesn't seem good. Bro, that's a leprechaun. Wait, does this work? No, he knows where we are. Ah! Is that better ass right? Health, grab a snack. Survival will mean some dangerous situations. When you're low on health, you'll need to eat. Locate hidden food stashes all throughout the studio. The studio. Mm, I'm feeding. I'm gonna feed. Maricon soup. I wouldn't drink too much of that if I were Bitcoin you. soup. It helps patch you up, but the aftertaste. It's not so good. Easy now. I'm not gonna hurt you. Ink I look like GF. You need some help. Don't touch me. What are you? Ugh, what is this horrible place? Yeah, I remember my first day down here. I know it's scary, but you're actually pretty lucky. The machine could have turned you into a searcher. You mean that that thing that attacked me? No, that's a piper, and he's part of a gang. So be careful. I don't understand any of this. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly if you can stay alive. Oh, of course. That's Less the downside enough. of being a woman. Searchers don't have legs and they <laughs> tend to swarm. Look, it's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving and stay close to the shadows. Take my advice. Head to the upper levels. It's safer there. Can I come with you? You can't. I'm sorry. I have a wolf. What? He doesn't care for strangers. Okay. Like I said, you'll catch on. Good luck. I hope we meet again. I've had a big problem recently. Just oh, and you ever have it where you can't think? You, your mind goes else. like fucking blank. Stay away and you can't focus from on the anything. ink demon. That's some rough shit. What's an ink demon? Oh, well, you'll know him when you see him. He likes to smile, and he kills anything that. You moves. just smile. Wait! What's your name? They call me Alice. I'm not very fond of it. Based. Thank you so I'm much, Audrey. Sarah. You well, live Audrey. in that headspace. Fair. Welcome to the Maybe studio. it's just being tired. Or maybe it's metal fumes. Oh. Breed me and sneed me. Climb it. Climb it, baby, one more time. Got this? Around here, it's just best to stay out of sight. Don't ever go running into some place if you don't know what's in there. Fair enough. You attack a problem head on. You're going to find yourself in trouble, and that's just foolish. You've got to watch, listen, and when the time is right, push forward. Apex Legends? Apex Legends? It's a me. Damn, we got inked pretty hard. Without zinc, you can't even kill yourself. What do you think your trigger is made out of, Jimmy? Whatever that Troy McClure segment is. However that yeah, goes. So those gen strange. Yo, Siffy's in this. Security codes for opening doors. Security codes. Some kind of 
works they can't do here anyways. Last I checked, we make toys and silly cartoons. <laughs> this ain't Fort Knox, you know what I mean? Now, it's my job to look over these shipping invoices and remember a bunch of random numbers? Yeah, no freaking thank you! I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna record the dog code here so I don't forget it. <clears throat> All right. The code is four... Five one. Four five one. If uh, Mr. Drew or Mr. Gray asks, you didn't hear it from me. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Cognitive behavioral torture. It's a hybrid. God, I fucking love eating trash. That, that that bun has made my belly warm and happy. Chat, someone come here and rub my belly, please. This is everything. It seems that Archgate Studios, in all its misplaced oh. admiration, Glimbable. was so eager to absorb the life's work of that crooked charlatan Joey True. <laughs> Out of here. And I just happened to be there on the loading dock that morning when the delivery boys dropped one of the gates. It smashed open, and inside there was something truly special a mass of yellow steel and beautiful. Yellow weapons. steel. Why would you do that? Bacon soup. It's probably... Uh, you know what's really good? Like cream of corn soup. With sprinkled crispy bacon on top. Creamed corn is so good. I tried to cream in the corn myself, but it didn't taste anywhere near as good as the canned stuff. I mean, he sort of bragged about being the guy from the first one. Favorite Mel Gibson movie? Uh, Passion of the Christ. <laughs> you think I watch movies? Are you out of your mind? Do I look like a movie watcher to you? Mm, signs? That's Mel Gibson, right? He's the dad. <sighs> Spiderman. That's cute. I like that. Monkey? Monkey spider? I'll take it. Everyone knows that a happy work environment needs a place where you can sit back and enjoy something tasty. I'm Joey Drew, and you're standing in our grand, expensive new employee. Oh, the movie where we can read the thoughts of women. That's after he tries to kill himself with a. with a hairdryer, right? Save my game. Is that even an option? Watch that movie where Al Pacino keeps smelling people. It's called Scent of a Woman. <laughs> uh, Everyone knows that a happy work environment 
You just told me? Well, I wasn't looking at the game, I was looking at you, so you have to tell me how to do it now. How do I do it? She's got a great ass! Biden does tend to only sniff girls. From what I have seen. Probably shouldn't eat these. Should leave it for when I need help. Battery casing. Oh, that's kind of spooky and concerning. Favorite Jim Carrey movie. Shh. Am I even allowed to say Dumb and Dumber? I feel like Dumb and Dumber is too basic of an answer. Dumb and Dumber inspired me to want to get a uh, personal recorder so I could say, Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? And then play back a recording of themselves if they say yes. Inspired me. Locked again? This is getting old. Oh no, it's made of chocolate. Oh boy. Management has come up with a new way to reward us employees. Instead of paying out bonuses or overtime, they've started handing out these little tokens that you can spend on company vending machines. Besides that, these tokens ain't got value of any kind. Obviously, a lot of people didn't like the idea. But the best part about the whole thing is that within a week, someone figured out how to make fake tokens that fool the vending machine. We started calling the fake ones slugs. Now, I can't remember the last time I've seen a real token around here. Them slugs are everywhere. Snack me. And crack me. Getting a, a whole lot of batteries. Other interest. Oh. Excuse me. What's the deal with people who spell hiccup like hiccup? Lost as hell. Audrey, it's Alice. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? Hello? Audrey? Is it me? Oh, so glad you're all right. Uh, Alice, I think you and I have very different definitions of all right. Where are you? Animation department entrance? But it's locked up tight. Good. That means you're heading up. Look for anything you can use to break in. Maybe there's a gent pipe nearby. Uh oh. There's something in here. Audrey, find that gent pipe. Now. Find that 
Nathan tube. What are the tubes called in uh, Star Trek? Find the diddler do. Jeffrey. <sighs> Fucking asshole. Gent card required. Oh no. There's the gent pipe. Way too dark in there. Need to get the lights working first. Hmm. I'd simply fumble in the dark, personally. Just gonna say it. The best way to avoid trouble is not to be seen. Remain crouched to stay low and keep your footsteps from being heard. Watch your enemies carefully so you may pass through safely. If something detects you, find a place to hide or get away fast. He looks familiar. You ever watch District 9? He's like a depronified prawn. All right, he's busy. That's all right. He's allowed to be busy. Not a problemo. Missing a fuse. Let's oh my god. Him. No, you're not you're not fucking serious. You're not serious. This isn't real life. You're not serious. This isn't real life. Just because you're a horror game where you walk around doesn't mean you have to have missing fuses, okay? Damn. He's got issues. can't you can't get past him it's over he cornered me I just have to I just have to let it happen uh. hey it turns out dying is really good Dying? Actually, the best thing I could have done. You did not see me. Whoops. Guys, I may have messed up a bit, okay? I cannot pick up the fuse during combat. Okay. I 
think we want to die. I think dying is the best option. Yeah. Um. Kill me. Thank you. Again? Again, please? Thank you. Not my birthday, it's not my birthday. I'm not aging today. I'm not aging today. Chill. Relax. Delicious snackerongies. Just get mana, just get uh, stamina regen in Morrowind and you'll never miss again in your life. I'm telling you. It's that easy. He's cooming. Why can't I go through? Or am I just fucked? I tried to tell them he was up to something. I tried to tell Oh them. fuck. Hey! Where's my order for table four? Come on, guys! Food's cold! Take your time. I don't mean to alarm you, but I feel like this game might be style over substance. Like, don't freak out at this revelation, but I... I have a bad feeling. I am going past... Bitstar, you're like 70 years old. Chill. Alright. Solved. Lights are on. Time to get that gent pipe. True, true. Star, you're telling me, you're telling me this is working as intended. You're telling me this is a hundred percent functional, and there's nothing wrong with. Hey, sometimes you can't hide because you're in combat, and you can never break combat. Sometimes he's right fucking next to you. You can hide, and it breaks combat.
that lolled a meme like me. Let's go. This place would have been fine to go into without a light. At the end of every crumbling empire, you gotta hide the treasures. Mr. Cohen brought me in to catalog and secure some of Joey Drew's more special hmm. assets in places no one will ever find them. Special ass? Special ass? Right? Anyway, Once God, guys. And so now I hope. Just remember, this nonsense wasn't my idea. So, here's my first little hint. I finally found and a use for those silly motivational posters here in the atrium offices. They're sure to make quite an Impact. Impact. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. Playing with fire, no question about it. First, gent comes in here and puts thick, heavy pipes over everyone's head. Excuse me. <clears throat> Must weigh a ton. Then Joey opens up the place for torch to the general public. Are we really thinking this through? For Pete's sake, Sammy's music department is constantly flooded. And while I was giving a tour last week, we almost lost a whole dang wall when a valve blew out. Stupid tour group applauded, think he was part of the show. I know Joey's looking to drum up some cash lately, but this, this is just asking for a disaster to strike. One good accident and there's going to be a landslide of trouble. Hint, hint, perhaps? Hint, 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 hint as to what you're meant to do. Or course to happen. Nice pipe, bro. The dark puddles are calling. Bitstar, you ever eat the cheese footballs? The Christmas cheese ball. How the game's focus on making it look good with little substance so they can sell merchandise. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much what, uh, I mean, the Cult of the Lamb is kind of that as well, to be entirely honest with you. Five Nights at, at Freddy's. Now I can defend myself. There are so many but cheese puff crisps. No, the 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 cheese balls are like a crispy wafer ball filled with filled with like weird fake cheese. Weapon of many uses. Your all in one tool for surviving many dangers. The gem pipe has many useful functions and upgrades. Uh, to use, press L and B to attack enemies. I can attack. Are you are you cereal? Peglin is doing that to you. I don't know. Peglin. I'm gonna rip you off. Peglin doesn't kind doesn't <laughs> have that much substance and it doesn't have that much style. So you know if they make if they make good uh, stuffed toys, that's pretty good. You know, Elastor, I'm saying no, but because I've said, nah, this isn't like Morrowind. Then as soon as we go through that door and break the lock, there's going to be a fucking cliff racer. Arr! Excuse me. I didn't expect it to be like this. Why would I ever hide? Smash the posters. The lady did mention them. This isn't Morrowind combat at all. I'm hitting my target. Which me? Work hard, work sloppy. <clears throat> the 
thing is, this is still better than 90% of games they release. <laughs> Powers of the Inca are yours to command. Use your powers to send monsters back to the dark puddles. While crouched and undetected, interact with an enemy from behind to banish them. That could have been a lot more brutal. I thought we were gonna like, like, go and like through the head. Like a like a revenant execution in uh, Apex. You know what I'm saying. Hey, all this shit's paper. Just rip it. Just rip the lock, dude. Hmm. <laughs> They got me. I will give it to them. They got me. It, it went back in his hole. I mean, it, it doesn't want to kill me. I think, I think it just didn't like being disturbed. Exchange. Just like special. Oh. They're just resources. <laughs> I thought they'd be cool, unique collectibles or something. I don't know, man. Where was the thing? We want to get through into there. Oh. My bad. Uh, whoops. Still my bad. Relax. Ooh. Did Idubs really say my wife? My wife's pussy isn't special. What well, what brings you to this point where you'd be saying that on the internet? Lucky B was telling me that's what he was saying in videos. And stuff. <laughs> like, why would you? Isn't that kind of putting down her business, though? That's like anti-advertising. Isn't that like a uh, effectively him giving her OnlyFans a bad review? Here's where the magic is made. Like if he goes, my wife, pussy isn't special. Okay, I won't buy her OnlyFans then. Thanks, I love this. Yeah, yeah, crack open a cold drink, whatever you say, bro. Chill. Back 
battery refill. What? Where am I? Where am I trying to go again? This seems good. That's a technicality. Technically, if there's no brain, there's no brain to damage. Mm -hmm. We're in the final days here, I can tell. People are packing things into boxes. Tools are going missing. You can smell the panic in the air around the studio. But us gent boys, we're just watching from the shadows. We lock the doors and keep our research going. Mr. Gray already gave us a little wank. All is well. When one ship sinks, another one leaves the dock. I just need to keep my ink machine safe in the chaos. It's the key to so many discoveries. Thomas Connor. <laughs> There's nothing special about my wife's pussy. You ever seen Ethan Klein? Now that's a... You get, you get what I'm saying, right? You get it. I'm of, I'm of course suggesting that Ethan Klein would have a uh, breathtaking the Jewzel. What am I doing? I'm rubbing my nose. Well, I'm doing... I'll tell you what I... Okay. Like, not picking my nose, but like using... A bit of tissue paper to stick up in there. I figured that was too much for the stream, okay? Too much to show on stream, okay? It's picking with protection, okay? By proxy, with a tool. I could feel the little sticky thing in my nose and I was like, I need to get it out. So I like, you do the thing where you like make it into a point and then you go, nee, 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 nee. Bendy. Is that the ink demon? Is Bandy the ink demon, or is he a good boy? I'm gonna beat the shit out of this kid. Oh. Bendy? You're real? Oh, this is amazing. It's okay. I won't hurt you. I promise. It's okay. See? I'm your friend. <laughs> and then he breaks your fingers. <laughs> He's crying. I no. I'm so so sorry. Damn it, Audrey. What's happening to you? Ate a banana and drank some energy drink. You're dead. You can't do that. They're contraindicated. Don't worry. He'll never break. He's bendy. Like a weeping willow. There. Is that you, Phil? I told you I'm not opening the door until you bring me my pictures. I drew them. I want them back. Fair enough. Hmm. It's definitely a mobile game, Frag, but it's it's slicker. B was saying she liked it more because it it doesn't just seem like an excuse to get you to buy crystals and it's not throwing the <laughs> like crystals in your face constantly it seems like they realized you have to have something i mean Mobile game, so there's going to be a payroll, especially as a sponsorship. Uh, with goals, it's very fast and 
painless to hit the goals. So, I dig it. Macarena could be so sick that they just need it not to be a uh, pay to win. But they wouldn't do that because why would they? The power belongs to him. Okay, whatever you say, bro. His eyes see all. His claws tear and thrash. His whispers turn your mind into dark, unspeakable trash. Listen for the heartbeat drone. Your doom is close at hand. The ink demon is both beast and lord. His power is too vast for us to understand. Death is fast. Death is near. His reign will last beyond your fear. William Shakespeare's in here, apparently. Leaving little notes for all of us. <laughs> Pop them. This is the second. This is the sequel. That's nice right. A fucking werewolf. The shadow kind of looks like an archvile. Why does Ausrad be more fucking stupid than Tim? You're getting better at English, bit star. You're getting better at English. Memories are stored in the balls. Thanks for telling me. Hey, Harbinger, how's it going? Excuse me. Ah, oh, there we go. Italian wedding suit sword. No, what's the? No, there's another ethnicity wedding thing. Is it Spanish? Is it Mexican wedding cakes? The little crunchy balls with nuts inside? It's something wedding cakes. It might be Spanish, it might be Mexican, it might even be Italian. Do you know what I'm talking about? And there's normally powdered sugar on the outside. The ink demon is near. His power is infinite, his evil is complete. Be alert for his approach and hide at first warning. If you stay out in the open, you'll be consumed. They are Mexican wedding cookies, okay. They're called testicles? Are your testicles dry and crunchy? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, I got his picture. Why do I know? Ah, uh, that's right. Mexico is in America. What do you think of that? Pepper news? Pepper news? What, pepper nut? Mexico is in North America. Ashrad, did I just blow your mind? If you're from Mexico, you can say I am American. It's true. 
Everyone will think you mean United States, but whatever. It's still technically true. Latine, whatever, I don't know pronunciations. There's already a gender neutral version. They just like putting X's on things. Why is ink evil in this? It's wet and sticky and it gets everywhere. I hate ink. More comps? Did I do the bad thing? I feel like I did the bad thing. I think I did a loop I was not meant to do. I want to make Lucky Bee cosplay as the ink girl. Sock Pop, for example, did Stacklands. They also did like a hamster golf game. Or like hamster racing gambling game. Pardon? I'm gonna make you cosplay. This guy does sound like Siffy, though. You must feel the motions in your mind. Act them out around your room. Today, I'm a clock. My father was a drinker. <laughs> it sounds like Siffy's Joker impression when he plays golf. Fuck you, Ben. I try my hardest, dude. I try my hardest for eight hours a day and you say that to me. turned him into the Joker. Alright, based. That was just straight up a burp. Embarrassing. backtrack. Is, is, is there a way forward, please? Indeed, yeah. I do only stream for eight hours a day. 
rookie numbers. But I also work at the, um, I work in the PEF mines for eight hours a day. And then for the final eight, I'm going to start working at a Chinese food stall. <laughs> there needs to be a game where it's like, I'm the microplastic demon. There's nothing you can do. I'm already in your bloodstream. Pictures did this guy draw? Walks among the believers. You mean among us? I'm so lost. Can I can I leave? No, I, I checked here last time. Dozens. Oh yeah, Bendy Beggar Hole. I need to get out of Bendy's Hole. Okay, let's go this way. You already checked around there. Relax. the shit from here. And the shit from in here. It's my it's my greatest weakness in any video game. I just get lost so easily. This isn't the way forward. Uh, I'm so fucking lost. Wait, so this is the way I came in. That's what I was trying to abuse Alistor, but I couldn't see anything useful. safe if I'm in the vents? Yeah, okay. So that was wrong way. Oh, you're not safe.
Come on, come on. Watch out, the kink demon is coming. Future games on the docket? None that I can think of right now, but I have a bunch downloaded. Do you mean games that are gonna release? I don't know. Ooh, can you can you wait? Can you wait for uh Star Dock? Star Space Dock? What's it called? You know what I'm talking about. The next Bethesda game. Starfield. Well life is out and free. But is it enjoyable at all? Fallout 76 was a masterpiece. A barely playable, unenjoyable masterpiece. Okay, but like, how do I, how do I get out? What do I, f that's where he chased us in. This is the entrance. Follow the left wall. I'm gonna follow the left wall. See if we can get to an exit. sure about that. Okay, this is you. Oops. Get out. Nylon Birkin bag. There's a thing to pop open here. That didn't work out too well for him, did it? Tim Pool versus Surfs. I saw the Surfs guy uh, was on Tim Pool's show. I didn't see what transpired though. How did uh, how did it go? I didn't mean to click it. It's my bad. Very pretty. Mm hmm. Flower rip sniff. Mm -hmm. Crawling slum ruled by that grinning demon. 
the codes in these pictures, isn't it? Out quietly onto the ground. Now, the only question that remains is, what if the head grows back? You can only watch the same dang cartoon so many times if we... I'm trying to forget what it was they wanted me to change. I think I take notes. Watch with them little numbers in the corner of the screen. Is there some kind of code? Better check with the storybook. No, it's not one, two, three. Is it one, two, three? That's what I thought. Is there an element that is common to all of them that changes? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, 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 I know. My first thought was trying to, you know, is it number of lines? Is it number of la 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 la? Two, five, or is it four, three, two? Will be four, three, two. Like he's walking along, he sees the flower, he picks the flower. Just take a million years to get over here, no problem. Don't mind it one tiny bit. Take your gentleman parts, thank you. Or seems like the first thing. So he's walking along. He sees it and bends over. Four, four, three, one. Or it could be like, um, It could be three, one, five. Five and one are like incomplete drawing. I opened the door. Why did I walk around? He sees the flower and bends over. He picks it and then is chased. Three, five. We made it. The, what was the original sequence earlier? I don't remember it. I don't remember seeing it. Okay. 
Yankee. Say hello. She was the fourth wall. The papers are signed. The animation staff is hired. Archgate Pictures is open for business. As of nine o'clock this morning, Gunt card Bendy and all his little cartoon friends now belong to me. Isn't it strange? Good things always come in threes, they say. What the hell? Bendy, Alice, of course. It just works. So when I show my coward. Uh oh. Oh, that's fine. A, uh, it's just a voodoo monkey. Oh, the goo child move. Now she's going to jump us, yes? Nice ink, bro. Nice ink, bro. Wait, what? I can't believe Wizards of the Coast hired the Inkertons. What? Wait, now I can't go that way? Oh shit, did I fucking break it? You fucking let me in before. What am I missing? Are you telling me I could have simply not opened the, uh, the crate with the evil man inside? Oh, okay. I swear I opened before. Fuck my sunglasses. What? Would I dye my hair too? What hair? <laughs> I don't have any. Once again, I'm excluded from all the trends. Sad. It does make a noise though. Okay, nice little nice little detail. Simple, simple, but a lot of games wouldn't do that, just saying. Squeakless. He's a fast as fuck boy. Lads, how do I go fast? I could let my hair grow a bit and then dye it, but uh, I don't want to do that. That would be very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I see. It would be spookier if they made me go inside. I'm not I'm not doing it though, so don't worry. This will never happen. Hmm. Machine the machine must endure. Welcome. 
Do the machine. We've already seen that we come back from... Unless I'm consumed by the ink monster, I just come back, so why not jump? Hello. Could you teach me how to zoom, please? Oh, hello there. Are you looking for the way out? A way out would be nice. Are you... stuck in there? <laughs> oh, well, yes. Is this Winnie the Pooh's voice? Well, you're stuck too. Can't you move? Not an inch. Uh, perhaps you could get me unstuck? I'll see what I can do. Why don't I just kill? And then he'll pop and we'll be good. Oh, we are gonna absorb him. Oh, no, just destroy a bit of his, uh... We gave him, like, Inco suction. <laughs> Bleach it. Steven Crowder, the hairdresser. Bleach it. Hey, bleach it. The name's Porter, by the way. And who might you be? Audrey? Fucking Audrey? Audrey. Audrey. Nope. Don't like it. Doesn't suit you. I'll call you Bobby. Huh? And to say thanks for your feat of rescue, here's a little gift. Something I've learned. Is it a zoo? There we are. It's passed on. Now, you can move like me! <laughs> Goodbye, Bobby! Try not to die! Fair. That was weird. The dark puddles will move you. Use your power to flow quickly and undetected over a short distance. Press right mouse to flow. Oh no. The power belongs to him. Yeah, a few people have written that. I don't I don't buy it. Cease your viola. Ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the last break of the evening, which means it's time for the last vote of the evening. Could play more of this. That wouldn't be a problem. Dishonored, more like... Piss honored. Right, your choice is more of this. Or... Vaganti. We could play a lot of Frost. Uh, I think it's made by a studio that just makes this, right? Hold up. Steam's frozen. Uh oh. Joey Drew Studios. And published by Joey Drew Studios. I. We could play more of this, we could play Vaganti, we could play Wild Frost, we could play... And we could play Peglin. What's a, what's a good fit option? I've got more of this, Vaganti... Wild Frost, Peglin. Do I want to play Vaganti? You know what? Let's 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 retool this. Let's retool this. We have more of this. We could have Noita. We could have Wild Frost. Nokia games. Well, like Snack.
I'll put Binding of Isaac as an option. And the final choice will be... Engage Elder Scrolls. Maybe I'll install that and set up for tomorrow. I'm kind of sick of Oblivion. I'm dropping Oblivion. And we'll just move to the next Elder Scrolls game. I'm sorry to, 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 some, of the, to some of you that might be... Uh, that might be shocking. But it is what it is. Maybe I could put Patch Quest on there. Oh, I'll put Gunfire Reborn. Yeah, there's a good wild card. All right. I'll be back shortly. The vote is open. Make your voice heard. We could play more of this or we could play any number of other games. I've given you five options.
Have you behaved? Have you behaved? Noiter versus gunfire, huh? Ooh. Good track. Do I coin flip it? We'll do gunfire because we played Noita recently. Maybe like an hour of gunfire, hour of Noita. Yo, you can do gunt in titles? Let's go. An entitled gunt. Who could think of such a thing? Now, bear with me. It's been a long time since I played Gunfire. Right. There will be bets, though. Beat boss, yes or no? I don't know if five minutes is too long. How long is... <laughs> How long are the levels in this? I don't remember. I'm way behind on my meta progression as well. Tummy hurts real bad. Ben, lie down on your back and rub your belly. That's that's my strategy. That's my strategy. Oh, they've got an update roadmap. An update map. Okay. Apparently I'm so good I don't even need to play to get unlocks. That's probably fine, I guess. One, two, three. Weapon one, weapon two. Q for secondary, primary is E. Haven't felt hungry for a couple days? Frag, have you had like a lot of caffeine? Spiritual assault talents? Which of these characters is good? Energy Morb. Chill. Double, double copper. What is all this shit? I don't remember any of these. Less damage taken? Sure, I'll take it. Yeah. Not since Friday. Have you done? Crystal meth? I've never beaten normal difficulty, dude. Oh, this might not be good. This might not be good. You know what? I'm gonna go on uh, mousesensitivity.com. Let's 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 match. Let's match to another game I play. I'm not cheating, I'm just making it so it feels right. Okay. What the fuck? 5.2? Guess I put that on 5. And then this on 47, apparently. And it should be. Yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe a bit high, but that's better. I have an energy morb. I can shoot poison, apparently. Smoke grenade. Corrosion smoke grenade will produce a highly toxic smoke screen. Close on contact. Woodpecker. I'm using the scope, better stability, otherwise more. 
I don't remember what any of these are. Yeah, this is just the default weapon. All right. Let's see how this goes. Check Frag's blood sugar. All right, we need Frag to get cut and then we can uh, taste it. Did you know, when I was a carer, they taught me to, uh, they were like, oh, make sure you pay attention to your, how your client's pee smells. I keep wanting to hold down shift, but that's that's not how it works in this game. Bro. I can't hit anything. Well, they were like, they were like, smell the pee, and if it's sweet, they might have an infection. But I was a carer, not a carer. Is it just me, or is the sound, like, broken? Is it because it's too quiet? What's happening? I'll enter the vault. They're like if it has a sweet smell. Can I get just a dot crosshair, please? Please, I'm begging you. Smellers Union. Gain 1% damage dealt and 0.2% damage taken for each enemy you kill. Isn't this incredibly dangerous? Isn't this just gonna get me fucking killed? Bro, this doesn't feel safe. This doesn't feel good. I believe landlords are the future. <laughs> Goblet overflow with mystery and energy. Enhance the power. Ascensions determine the direction of growth of this adventure. Level 3 ascensions have powerful additional effects. Reasonably matching ascensions, occult scrolls and weapons can help you go further. After killing an enemy affected by any elemental effect, increase rate of fire. Smoke grenade capacity plus 4. Nice. Are smoke grenades even good? I guess it's too late. The child must die? Bruh. Slower than I remember. Z. What the fuck? And they put it in a weapon too. Alright, I'll take the poison challenge. Ooh. Also, did you see the game freeze? Like, every game I play freezes nowadays. I think I need to like repair my graphics card. I get I put new fans in it, but it seems like it's just inherently scuffed. Oh, 
I'm moving to have a uh, landlord recognized as an ethnicity. Reinstall windows are refused. I think it should be a crime to not tip your landlord. A 3% weapon damage for every 100 copper you currently have. Okay. That means we want to hoard money. We want to get up to uh, 1,000 copper. This game feels different to how I remember. Hmm. Does anyone remember what like the elemental combos are? I sure as hell don't. Bro, what do you do? I remember the music being way better than this as well. What's going on? Red touches yellow. Don't fuck around with snakes. Red touches black. Don't fuck around with snakes. Ooh, this smoke grenade will wreck their shit. Energy orb improved. I'll take it. We're going for an ability run. Ability run. Touches yellow, destroy the child. Red touches green, destroy the child. Yo, nice bun. Mm hmm. Hmm. Hello, craftsmen. As highly skilled craftsmen, they can enhance weapons or refurbish weapons. Gemini inscriptions. Challenge in the world. Ammo capacity double. Let's fucking go. Plus five percent elemental damage for ten seconds. And kill an enemy. We made it, kids. We're out of here. Stop clowning on me. You're making me self-conscious. Gas the child. Wahoo, wahoo, bing bing. Hmm. Ye almighty spirits from the underworld, I summon thee. Pray randomly. I will lose 75% of my HP. F to chat? What do they mean by this? Astrad, why are you leaving? 
Did I give you permission? What type of gun is this? So we've got two corrosion weapons. Which doesn't seem great. We, you want two different weapons. I think we want like fire and corrosion or lightning and corrosion. If I remember how this game works. Like stacking is not the way. Blast them. Not a problem. Not a problem. Treasure. Smoke genius. Recasting any energy orb get shield recharge speed. More orbs. Ability mode. Fucking abilities. You missed the king's coronation? Well, you're not British anymore, then. Simple lines. Yeah, yeah, This one uses heavy ammo. Uh, this one uses blue ammo. <laughs> Whatever that is. Apparently, they had King Charles... Uh, they had a recording of King Charles in the uh, in the tube today. And on, on all major train services, I guess. Sync on. I like this weapon. Well, why didn't you watch it and jerk off? I'd like a normal score, please. And if you inflict the decay effect, also inflict decay on yourself. What? Fuck you. That decay enthusiast shit is whack. There we go. That's fucking horrible. There were kids at the event. Well, they're easy targets. You only lose. You don't lose the full amount, and you take 20% less damage. I don't think that's worth it. What did I just say? Children are easy to convince of things, right? So they're a good target for the protest. Am I using prism? Because it's cool. Prism is the sickest shit I've ever seen in my life. It's a kunai. Look, same ammo pool is fine. Did you see that freeze up? Like, everything I play freezes like that, even if it never fre froze in the past. I think Redfall permanently broke my PC, I'm just saying. Whatever, I'll take it. Ah, 
I believe Obama is the future. Yeah, the sponsor link is scuffed. You need to turn off Adblock on the page sometimes. Adblock has wised up to it. Isn't reinstalling 120% skill damage? We win. Is, is reinstalling Windows like a huge pain in the ass? Like how hard, like, can you do a reinstall without losing everything else that's installed? Or is it like, do you, is it a full fresh install or is it like an easy reinstall? Mega pain in the ass, I will not reinstall Windows. Kid. I hate Spearman, I hate Spearman. Woodpecker plus two. Prism plus two. Oof. I don't even know what I'm picking. Portrait day. Fair enough. Siffy and all the other chat lords. I'd rather live with the stuttering, to be honest. Ugh. For every cursed scroll you earn, get more. Okay. I don't remember how you get cursed scrolls, but I'll stack them. No problem. Do you think reinstalling Windows is actually the answer? This install was, I mean, I got this computer in 2020, 2019, I'm not sure. The lighting damage. Better Smokies. It's boss time. Betters, this is the part that matters. Oh yeah, the Peedler. Frenzied Shark. Not interested. Although, when they have decay, it does more. That is the way. Cover my HP, thanks. Preemptive strike? Refill all ammo? Damn, this shit rules. game way easier. Have I even ever beaten the first boss? I don't think I've ever lost against the first boss. Right, bunny, I fucked up really hard in Age of Wonders. Base damage up, I'll take it. Crimson fire scale. I hate this weapon. That has a good bonus, Shrieker. Yeah, I need to take another shot. And thank you again for Age of Wonders and for the expansion pack. Like the. What did I do? What do you mean?
Oh, how did I fuck up? Uh, I went pure magic, and I relied like almost entirely on summoned units, and I went into an insane mana deficit, and then I raided someone, but then didn't prepare properly, and they kind of destroyed my shit pretty hard. On the third story mission, it's rough. The third story mission is rough, okay? It's hard. Well, it's probably not hard if you don't use magic guys. But I want to try using magic guys. I need to learn all the different ways of doing the game. What's going on with the music? Press F to rest? What the hell is going on? See, if you be evil in mission three, in mission three, you're not allowed to uh, do any diplomacy. Change the controls. I want to make it so that weapon one is four. Yes. Let's go. It's vaulting time. Recoil and there's whatever the hell this shit is. Strong button. Who are we giving a treat? Bunny wife grumpy. You need to get bunny wife, Age of Wonders 3, and then hack the game files so that um, she has to play it on hardest. Shrieker plus three. Eh. Doesn't excite me. Sorry. Each <laughs> one is bored. Oh, that's understandable. I could I uh, yeah. I'd be super restless too. Okay, do I just leave? I came in from there. Did I? I don't know. What's fucking happening? Oh shit. I should have kept uh, 
decay enthusiast. Yeah, I know, Alice Thor. It would have been all upside, no downside. Uh, quest to upgrade inscription. Just show me what you got. Cavalry. No good. Useless. Excuse me. Gengu main, by the way. Genji main, by the way. Bro. Give me that money. Give me that fucking money. Throw the weapon to create an explosion. Nice to reload. Better against burning enemies. Whatever. I'm out of the loop on what's good in this. Well, yeah, if the idea is to get her to feel good, maybe, she, maybe she'll enjoy hitting you really hard. Right? The bullets are so slow. Okay. Give me the juice. Two more charges. Ooh. I will, in fact, take that. This is normal. I have I don't think there were difficulties last time I played this. Argus plus four. Mm. First shot kills the enemy, recover one hundred. I mean, the Argus seems cool, but it doesn't have any elemental effect, so... Whatever, I can try it. Right. is going on with that bird? Gun seems cool. It's the only difficulty option I have available. I swear there was like a Trader Joe here. No, it's this. It's this. 
The bird's the spirit. It's meant to like attack in a line or some shit. But I don't think it does. Every time I kill an enemy, it puts me closer to getting one shot. But I don't want to get rid of the double edge because it's so strong right now. I guess that's how they get you, right? Spear plus four. Or Thunderstorm plus five. Interdast. Hmm. Hey, look at this monster. I'm just playing solo. I'm, I'm getting a grasp of it again because I haven't played it in a long time. It's 25% damage when your HP is full. Deft hands seems crazy. But at the same time, I have so much ammo. Whatever. Two of the same ammo source. I mean, ammo type, so. Wait, what did I just do? Oh yeah, we're out of here. Mm -hmm. Twitch integration with like you guys could vote on crazy things happening would be pretty cool. Oh, it's Kermit. The meta progression is the meta progression like insane when you're on hard mode, or, or does it taper off? Like, does the game get harder than the meta progression makes it easier? We're dead. <laughs> Wait, you gonna revive? I remember that shit. Not game over, apparently. But oh, he went invisible. What a what a cock sugar. That shit. Ah! Wheel saw. Rainbow plus four. Whatever. Capacity overdrive. The secondary skill can still be used when the number of uses is insufficient, but each use. I'm not even going to pick that up. 
I'm gonna be real with you, I'm not picking that shit up. Alright. Let's go. I believe. Ow. Oh, they have like a lightning gun? Like doing the switcheroo with that could be cool. Because right now I'm not really uh, taking that much advantage of elemental. Uh, you know, elemental uh, combo effects. I'm kind of playing the game wrong, I think. You know what? I'll keep my HP from now on. I think we're in the danger zone. Where, where are the enemies at? They must still be in here. Okay, I don't have a backpack. Alright. I have a game bag. It's different. No, I went to do it and it said you have to beat the game. Which apparently I've never done. Just don't even... I don't know. Don't... Don't ask what I was doing. I thought I just, you know, I just thought I'll be okay. I'll be okay going this way. I thought it'd be fine. What was I doing? I thought, I thought, oh, I'll just duck and weave or bob and weave. And then I was like, wait, I actually go way slower than I thought I do. The problem is there was there were rocks rolling. They didn't keep rolling. It was the uh, it was the old rock and rock and schlock. That's not what I mean. Let's go for that. I don't know what's good. Skill damage, secondary skill capacity, lower prices. I don't know. I'll just pick stuff up. Yes, I confirm. Lone Ranger. Then of the Midnight Ranger. 
The hero can be reborn. Very well, yeah. I'm a cringe skill lint. Not to be confused with a sponge gullet. Alright. Binding blast. Force field sphere. It's a force field sphere secondary. Ligon. Icy sphere, that seems cool. I don't know what I was thinking. Keep an eye out on bolts. This is another one of those games where you have to remember you don't have the stuff. It's like Bunny of Isaac. Where it's easy to think you still have the stuff you had on your last run, if you know what I mean. Like when you when you're asked to pick a skill, you're like, oh that has a synergy with my thingamajig. But it do not. Whenever you inflict burning, also inflict burning to yourself. I'm gonna carry that with me. But n do not get anything that applies fire. Do not get anything that applies fire unless you get fire immunity. That. that was embarrassing. What are you? Okay. Fine. Energy orb. Energy echo. Ooh. That seems really cool. Elemental morb. I'll take it. I like the effect it leaves behind. At least it leaves behind sometimes. Not one-shotting things, very cringe. That was dumb. Wait, what am I doing? What? This hits him through his shield? Why does he even bother with his shield? You'd think a spear would be a major thing you'd want a uh, shield to stop. Right? Open. It's the same. HP is reduced to zero. HP is fixed at one for five seconds. Destroyed after triggering once. Okay, life save. Lifesaver. True, true, true. Yeah. This just seems kind of bad. Yeah. Getting close to enemies just seems horrendous in this game. I have 75% of my HP, no problem. I wasn't using it anyway. Star Devourer. Give me. I remember you. When you go like, thank you, God, uh, Allah, uh, uh. We're going all in on fire in the hope that we get fire immunity. All right. I 
Well, it reloads, like, passively when you're not firing. This is pretty cool. Oh, no. Secret chest is at the bottom. I know about the secret chest, don't worry. Holy shit. You inflict fire? I don't fuck with that. I don't want to get set on fire. The fuck was that? Death to the Roblox zombies? Death to the Roblox zombies? to play like a spaz, which I don't need. Kermit. Fire bombers out. Get out of my temple. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't need the encouragement. I do it enough naturally on my own. Easy. Oops. Is it Peedler? Good prism again. I'm just saying. I just love the kunai. Let me throw kunai and I'll be happy. Or corrosion. Smoke grenade increases shield. Smoke grenades do more damage? Sure. Auto spasmatron. Please. My guy needs to throw these a bit harder. It shouldn't be going that slow. like I'm playing the Genji flavored heel slot. You know, from Overwatch. You get what I'm saying. Yeah. 
corrode me, Daddy? Oh, you're alive? You kind of can hit his head if you jump over him. I was trying to do it and it was working, but it wasn't working very well. Energy orb does double damage. I'll take more lightning. I'll take it. I don't feel that great about it. Can you drag? few treasures. Aura of Venom. I'm fine, thanks, bro. We'll get a better gun. It's fine. We'll get a better gun, and it does seem to be like a treasure. Treasure Goblin Nuts. Let me through. Oh, I have over a grant? Crazy. Good to all enemies. Good. Seems better than that version? I think this is the way to go. The return uh, ammo to magazine on this seems fantastic. I will take it. Wait, what the hell is this?
can an enemy of 40% corrosion plus 80% fire damage. Have gone for a build and then not done anything that allows our build to work. Um, I've been I've been doing some very uh, counterproductive things. Unfortunate. Oh, controllable zoom. What did I do to deserve this? I know, but what, like, what if I... This feels like a mistake. You can pick it up again. Seems silly to let me do that. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Here's some flame, dude. I've kind of pre-throwed. Pre-throwed? Pre-thrown. Yeah. Nice, bunny. Thank you. Let me know what you're watching. I need to get lucky, Bion. I kind of, with, with things that have happened in my life, I kind of dropped off the, uh, I dropped off the Rift Tracks train, just a little bit. I almost forgot about its existence. Pedal me. Missing HP gives lucky shot. Bro. Oh no. I've got to cut myself now. Stick a knife right under my energy shield. Bro. Aladdin. So this is good when I headshot people with this gun, but uh, kind of tough to headshot unless they're close, which puts me in a ton of danger. More like Trump change.
<laughs> Trump did indeed have a line of NFTs. A small loan of Trump change. I think it was Trump baseball card NFTs, if I remember precisely. <laughs> Stage entered. Look out, gamers, the third wave of feminism is coming. Look out. The Krispy Kreme. Yo, I'd do so much damage if I could actually hit the enemies. Imagine if my bullets actually made contact with the enemies, that would be fucking crazy. Oh, we almost got one tap there. mode. Don't mind this. Bone Dragon. Put my electrical shit. What are you? Movement speed up after dashing. They give me cursed and legendary. Cat Eye Sight. Minus one times weapon crit percent. That is exactly what we don't want. They got us. I ain't never taking a cursed scroll again. No. No. Plus four. Nah. I like the bow. 
Yeah, just, just get a second player over there, exactly. Unity just slows. This just always applies, right? The mag's always full. Okay, okay. Because there isn't a mag? Yes. This is how it works. Lightning damage. On more bump. I'm all over the place on, uh, you know, like elemental damage. It does increase damage against people in shock. So I can shock them with this and then hit them with the other one. Okay. You know what? I guess it's more of a boss killer thing, right? Like, not for the weak guys, because just hit him with the bow. The Those guys so much. The golden bow is doing the work right now. It's doing what I needed to do currently. Mm. Yeah, but I'm also like a crit build. So. I just get an elemental version or tweak it so it's elemental we're gonna have a good time mm -hmm. Look. don't ask me why the game decided to describe the bandit purely on the color of the skin you could have called him a dark hearted bandit for example but they didn't look I had no control over that. You can't prove otherwise. Bro, his weak spot is the X on his back, isn't it? Okay, poison's good against them. Wood pepper plus four. Not a problem. I didn't mean to press E, I meant to press F. More lightning, sure. Oh god, it's the fucking boss. I don't think I've ever seen the... F I've seen the worm boss. But I know the worm boss. That wasn't worth it. Here's the thing. I know that wasn't worth it. But... Just chill. Okay, just chill. It's gonna be fine. It's very cute, you can fly. How the fuck do I get away from the sandstorm, bro? so slow Fish. 
shocked, asshole. fight. I hate it. I hate it. Hmm. Hey, look, mobile games provide a lot of value to streamers who get sponsored to play them on their stream, okay? Ooh. Okay. Oh, hey, Shadow Ryu. Smoke grenade, smoke grenade lasts longer. The people need their copamine. What game do they play though? If they play Marvel Snap all day at work instead of working, I dare say that is based. Help, he's making me he's making me slow. Scorching plants. Wait, what's the Gemini? Plant spores on hits. Okay. Clash of Dragon Castles? You should give them the link. You should recommend uh Call of Dragons and give them my link. them all the 30 year olds are playing it I don't fucking like this fuck lantern spirits all my homies hate lantern spirits I can't see his fucking face. Where's his face? There. I feel like this is bad. Mobile text based games. What, like. Grinder? No, that's image based, isn't it? Why is this not hitting me? Turns out I'm just a retard. They're short auto prints. We need to remove the catfish name. We need to like remove their names because it makes it fucking hard to see them. Fish cuckolds? Get them out of here. We're dead.
Frick off. Frickin' frick. It might be chain. Maybe it might be time. Oh wait, did I pay out and then do fresh? I don't remember. I didn't pay out, did I? Or did I? Oh shit. Death to Lemmy Winks. Death to Lemmy Winks. We have sub badges, boys. Oh, she says show a couple. Hmm. It looks like we have evolving I shouldn't have done that. What cursed scroll did I get? Double the ammo consumption. Are you serious? Okay. I will show you. One of the new sub badges. Hold up, hold up. Single. There's there's one of the one of the sub badges. Wait, I'll pay out the bet and I'll do a freshie. Is that an NFT? Of course. You know when you sub, your sub badge is given to you as an NFT? Many people are unaware of this. That icon spooks me. Non-functioning tumor. Guys, I think my build and weapons are fucking shit. I have a feeling I, uh, I ruined everything. Bought a bad dragon, but I do it with you. No, I, I could do an aesthetic review. 
I would not use a bad dragon. Tiger cannon. How do the spores work? Go back to Overwatch. When the amount equals thirty, okay. Ah! The recoil on this gun, I think, makes it fucking useless. I guess the spores will be good against the boss. I don't know. Let's go. Seems like sometimes I do damage by shooting the floor. Maybe I'm just insane. <laughs> I mean, Rain World has a bunch of tentacles. Did you know Bad Dragon did a did a five nights at Freddy's range? Minus fifty percent accuracy. What do you mean by this? Seems better. Okay, we do that. I'm, I'm gonna throw away the, um, just throw it away. Just throw it away, it's fine. Based, thank you. Genuinely incredibly helpful in my life and with this dream. Thank you so fucking much for taking the time to do it. Oh fuck diddler crabs.
hell is going on? Arrogant Lobster. Cursed scroll is fucking pretty hard. Which I think that's what's happening. With the ammo. I buff this? I, I feel like on paper it should be stronger, right? But it's not. When you actually use it, probably just don't understand the stats. That's the more likely option, I'd say. Of the two possibilities. Wait, holding this one down doesn't increase his crit chance. That's probably why it's worse. Go back to Sekiro, you fucking loser. that homing bullshit. Wiggling is too good. Unironic, OP Wiggles. The OP Wiggles is a pretty good pen name. If anyone writes a book, nice this combo. Enemy increases your damage. Yeah, no shit. Extremely based city. That's every that's every part of the goal. You've done everything you can, so thank you. Sure. Make them more powerful. That's final stage. basically have no synergy. We don't do elemental damage. And all of our shit is into improving elemental damage. See how this goes. Yeah, it, it does take a while. It's a, it's a pef mouth beast.
Hits are good. And you can get them. Only PC counts. Only PC counts. Skill damage. Get a new character? Are there more characters? Lei Luo. Lingua. Lingua. Lila, Lila, and Stitch. Yo, Lucky Bee has to has to teach me through the secret, the secret sub badge strats because there are a ton of them. So you guys are going to all start having very different sub badges. It's going to be sick. I don't believe you, Angrim. Did you? Isn't the link like PC only? Or am I losing my mind? Did you actually? I'm sorry. I thought the link was just for PC. Oh, no. Shit. I need to make sure to specify that more. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to do it again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't make it clear enough. I'm sorry I didn't make it clear enough. HC's fine. These sub badges aren't like a different different um different letters or something it's like a bunch of eggs me in an egg and all sorts of sick stuff like that you can crack me open live on twitch television if i could do the infinite True, 63 month subscriber. You're going to get the, um, as soon as you hit 69 months, you get the TOS sub badge that pops up and gets me banned immediately. It's an actual, the 69 month sub badge is just a picture of my actual penis. <laughs> Animated. Animated with the gold star. It's incredible. All right. I don't have time for more of that. Let me. Do a, we'll do a bit of guess the game before I disappear. Mm -hmm. That's exactly. You, you, you guessed it. You guessed it, Retro. I feel like I should know this. I feel like I should know this one. This looks like something I should know. Shit. Oh, 
Hold on. Be on screen momentarily. Rump. 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 Oh, there's a new game in one hour. I've got to stay up. Hey Arnold, the card game. Why is that so fucking familiar? Why is this shit so familiar? It should be a sub bitch. Holy fuck. Oh God. What have you done, Ziffy? The pattern on the floor. I remember the face, Ziffy, but I don't remember it being that high quality. I don't remember it being quite like this. Monster Train? This isn't Monster Train. What the fuck? Is this Death Spank? It's no one. It's no one saves the world. Or nobody. It's nobody saves the world. I played it. I played it. Elo Guesser? The fuck is that? Why is this is this Final Fantasy 7? You know why I thought that, right? The like water tank in the hometown that Tifa sits on with Cloud. What the hell is this? Isn't Eternal Darkness, is it? even fucking know. I have no fucking idea what this is. That's Guns the Duel. The only reason I thought Guns the Duel was because of how how the pillars were. And I've seen the video where they run up the pillars and stuff. But none of the characters look like that in what I've seen. Not a fucking chance. This painkiller? Oh, this is Ultra Kill. I don't remember any of that shit, though. Tomb Raider. Fuck, I... Pod Racing? Star Wars Episode One. What's the what's the site, Siffy? Rankdoll. Rankdoll.com. I'll give Rankdoll a spin and then I'll disappear. Oh, 
Oh, does it like show you a clip of a gamer and then ask you what rank they are? Bro, I don't fucking know shit about League of Legends. Let's go Valorant. I'm going to say gold. Wait. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was way fucking off. Next clip. Just don't die, so you can Spike down. I feel like the thing that gives away this has to be low is because when he looked up here, he's looking at the bottom of this. Instead of higher, so he'll aim at their body or head, he was like looking at the edge here. Spike down A. This is lower than silver, this is bronze. Fuck, it was silver. I, I need heal. Ready? Yeah. Okay, that works. He's like lasered in on uh, positioning of the cross. I have one HP. I'm one HP. Thirteen seconds. <laughs> That's a f I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put this all the way on immortal. Yeah, okay. I got one. <laughs> Play got chill, I just tried this once. This isn't super well the reason I say immortal is because he was like He was his his crosshair was like always at head height for where he was going all right anyway ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for joining me thank you for your viewership your company for engaging with the sponsor for your subs for your gift subs for your donors for your bits for everything thank you so fucking much i will be back tomorrow till then though i have to say good night sleep tight don't that rank door bite.